gaming. You fucking cuck. I know that's one of your favorite words, you right-wing asshole. Say, come on, cuck. Ask real fucking questions, cuck. And don't be a fucking pussy because you're a bigoted asshole too. I Fuck think you. Diabetes. Yo, what's up, guys? How's everybody doing? How is everybody doing tonight? Hopefully good. the stupid well you know the rest I can't say it tracer pack Chithulu. I mean that's actually a pretty cool skin bro honestly that's pretty sick I hear about the lost Titanic sub. Nope. <laughs> What's going on with the uh, lost Titanic sub? sub for sightseeing um fuck, where did go? is lost oh yeah those mini subs are like fucking dangerous as shit man I wouldn't get in one of those ain't no fucking way bro DJ Aftershock with the two Japan just raised the age of consent from 13 to 16 uh oh man Weebs are on fucking suicide watch. Weebs are on fucking suicide watch, bro. Well, I guess it's nice Japan has joined the rest of the civilized world and, you know, having a normal age of consent, bro. So, you know? Gaming. Good for them. Vegeta's receding hairline with the five surprisingly made 150 off of, uh, what is SM2? Hold on, let me think. Uh, Spider-Man 2, there we go. Fuck, man, I really had to think about that. Okay. Uh, even though it's R or readily... So you can still pre-order it and somebody, like, bought your pre-order off of you? That's pretty wild. Good for you, man. Congrats. Yeah, I probably should go ahead and sell my Starfield pre-orders. The email that got leaked was like a Microsoft executive saying like their goal for buying Activision is to put Sony out of business. 
Like, just straight up in the fucking email. That's what it literally said. So, yeah. <laughs> Not a great thing to have leaked right before your fucking court case. It doesn't matter what year it's from, dude. You think companies only operate on like a fucking three month strategy? They have like fucking decade long strategies and goals and everything. Like shit, man. Doesn't matter how long it is ago. If they specifically reference that exact acquisition for that exact reason and there hasn't been a substantial change in leadership since then it's still probably safe to assume that's the current strategy so unless none of the people who were involved in that email work at Microsoft anymore then I would say it's safe to say that you know the strategy is still a go Oh, yeah, Britt, you don't plan an acquisition for, like, two months and then make it. You planned out years in advance. COD will still be on PlayStation for 10 years. Y'all are acting like Microsoft only plays in the short term, guys. Like... This is a company that's been around for like 40 years now. They plan on being around for at least another 40, if not more. <laughs> like, they're not going anywhere. Yeah, but that email is a really bad look going into court, so it really just depends on the judge now, how the judge views an email like that. Uh-oh. There we go. How do we know it's not doctored? Because it literally was admitted into court. So if the person who submitted it to the court submitted a doctored email, they literally could be, you know, charged with perjury and thrown in prison. Like, it's not really something worth lying over, man. <laughs> it's not really something worth lying over. Microsoft should acquire front they can't a Japanese company called Kodakawa owns from software and I'm pretty sure Tencent and Sony own a very large portion of that company so unless Microsoft could get Sony and Tencent to agree to sell that shit ain't going anywhere If anything, Sony will buy Kodakawa because Kodakawa is like an anime company. So it would like fit with Sony's portfolio perfectly because they have like all these fucking anime companies already.
Uh, Raging Wolf with the two. Play the Final Fantasy 16 song. Uh, maybe. Is it with vocals, though? If it has vocals, I don't want to play it. I haven't heard it. If it's just orchestral, then yes. But if it's like those fucking cringy Mario and Sonic songs, I don't know. Dude, video game music that has people actually singing lyrics is fucking ass. Like, listen to that dog shit fucking Super Mario Odyssey song, or like any fucking Sonic theme song. Like, all of those fucking games have the corniest fucking themes ever. And the fact that they have someone singing these corny ass lyrics does not fucking help. It's like listening to anime openings in English, dude. It's fucking awful. The only reason you can slightly enjoy an anime opening is because you have no idea what the fuck they're saying. But if you listen to an actual translation of anime openings, it's like literally fucking ear cancer. You wanna fucking kill yourself, bro? I mean, would you unironically listen to like the fucking Pokemon theme song? I don't fucking think so, bro. But yeah, if it's orchestral, I can pull it up. Which I think you said it was, so... Yeah, I'll pull it up after this match. Dude, the Sonic Heroes theme is like the fucking school shooter national anthem. Like, that's what the motherfuckers listen to as they're loading up their fucking guns. If you're unironically bumping the Sonic Heroes theme, there's probably a pretty good chance you either A, have crippling autism, or two, literally don't have anything going on in your life except an unhealthy obsession with anime, video games, and porn. Weaponized Schizophrenia with a 2, the only exception to me is MGR OST. I mean, that's not even like an actual... I don't feel like that's like an actual lyrical song, though. The, vo the vocals are kind of just like background noise, if anything. They're very, like, muted. But, yeah, I wouldn't listen to the MGR, like, soundtrack outside of the game. In the game, it fits, but... Dude, I've been hating on the Sonic Heroes theme. Somebody asked me to play like a Sonic song or something, and I think that was it, and I pulled it up, and it's just like so fucking corny, bro. Like. Alright, what is this shit called? Final Fantasy 16. Find the flame. The flaming homosexual, that is. Sounds like Final Fantasy XV's music. Is it by the same person? Yeah, it's probably the boss music. No, it doesn't sound like Final Fantasy XV's battle theme. I'm trying to think which... Hmm... I can't remember which part. It's like during a cutscene or something. No, I'm not gonna go 40 now. Good luck with that, man. 
I'd have to take my caffeine pills. Need fiber pill? I probably do, honestly. Like, I'm sitting here drinking four fucking protein powder scoops in a fucking cup, so... That's gonna brick me up like fucking Trump's wall, dog. Yeah, I hit fucking arms heavy as shit today, so I'm drinking a fuck ton of protein powder. Fuck is he? Why did I even bother reloading? Damn, the ending to that song was pretty fucking abrupt, man. There was like no uh, fade out or anything. I don't know if I like that. Is there by any chance? Hold on. Ooh, it is. It was in the fucking recommended. Yeah, I would have mixed that better if I was in charge of the mixing, bro. Yeah, it was, man. I'm just gonna say it. Since you're talking shit about me with your big fucking ugly mouth, you're all hateful fucking racist bigots. Fuck you and fuck your fucking podcast. Review Tech is an ally, guys. He stands up against injustice, against marginalized communities. He's a hero. Dude, honestly, anybody who unironically is, like, white and is calling people fucking racist in a fit of rage like that is just a fucking absolute clown, bro. Like, how- dude, it's just fucking wild. Like, if you're actively, like, spurging the fuck out... Dude, and that's the thing, is there wasn't even, like, a person of color involved. Other than the fucking person on the side-scrollers podcast that Rich was talking shit about. <laughs> it's like, bruh. 
Oh my god, dude. It's just the irony. Dude, I'm telling you, ever since he said the fucking bundle of sticks word on that fucking clip or whatever, he's like so determined to prove he's an ally, and it's just so fucking stupid, bro. Who gives a shit if he said a fucking mean word? Boo hoo. I would have never apologized for that shit. If anything, I would have given a non apology and said, like, oh, I'm sorry if you're such a fucking, you know, sore pussy that you're bleeding over me using the fucking, you know, F slur. But fucking cope and see the retards. I don't give a fuck. And then what are people gonna do? Like, no one's gonna use it against you. It doesn't fucking work. Nobody gives a shit, bruh. It's like, he literally painted a target on his back for ways for people to, like, fuck with him. Like, now people know that that type of shit is something he worries about, and it's like, oh my god. Very little stratagem involved, man. Yeah, it makes people think, like, you think it's a big deal. Where if you play it off, you're like, I don't fucking care, I'm talking shit in the live stream, motherfucker, get over it. Like, nobody's gonna fucking say shit. Everybody said something in a fit of rage. Nobody gives a shit about it. But if people know it's a good way to fuck with you, then they're gonna keep bringing it up over and over again. That's the thing, man. It's like... Quit taking shit so seriously. I don't know, man. Shit's just kinda dumb. Griff, I think you're cute. Oh my god, man, do you really mean that? Thanks. Doom Boom with the two play DSP song. All right, but I'm not doing any more recommended songs. I'm just putting that out there. I do not want to have to keep switching songs all night. I have to be in the mood for that type of shit. Um, <laughs> I think you're ugly, Griffin. Thanks, Brett. Takes one to no one, right? Uh, Juan with the two, RTU and Melanie Mac beef is based. Oh, did she respond? Or is Rich spurging again? She made a video? What's it called? Twitter banned me. Hey, dude, fuck Twitter. Twitter's for literal fucking retards, bro. Honestly. Unless you're getting like tens of thousands of likes on Twitter, it's a complete fucking waste of your time. Dude, the only use for Twitter is directing people to other websites. Like, that is literally the only benefit of Twitter. But if you're, like, not, like, super popular on there, who fucking cares? It's a waste of your time. Like, unless you have, like, 40 to 50,000 plus followers on Twitter, it's literally just a waste of your fucking time. That is, like, one of the worst platforms for engagement ever.
Yeah, honestly, I'm very glad that I got banned from Twitter, man, because I do not miss that fucking garbage for a minute. Mischief was banned from Twitter? Uh-oh. That's not surprising. Everybody gets banned from Twitter eventually. Oh, from- what the fuck? From YouTube? Bro, but he was making all those videos calling out the bigots, man. He was supporting the current thing, what the fuck? Damn, man. He was calling out uh, Jewish Satanism, bro. What the fuck? Or the people who are against Jewish Satanism. My bad. What uh? What did he get banned for? The fuck? Was it like copyright or some shit or what? Something sexual? Oh god. Yeah, I have no fucking idea then. What was sexual? Sex is hot. That's all I know. OnlyFans is my favorite website, guys. Probably synthetic man response video. Uh-oh. Oy vey. I guess some... <laughs> Bro, in the words of Synthetic Man, I guess uh, a certain group didn't like being called Satanist, bro. I don't know. Make a Fansly account? Uh-oh. Why? Why can't I just make a normal OnlyFans like everybody else, bro? Am I not good enough for OnlyFans? I gotta go to the fucking bootleg version? But was that the video that got him taken down, though? I mean, there wasn't really anything wrong in that video. I don't fucking know, dude. Especially sexual. Quan with the five. Apparently, Quantum TV buys and returns TVs every 30 days. Had to keep up switching Best Buys. That way, his loyalty account didn't get banned. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, he's a fucking retail return abuser. Oh my god. AKA. You're broke! You're fucking poor! Yeah, dude, fuck the brokies, man. That's some fucking peak poverty behavior right there. Peak fucking poverty behavior. Uh, it's not technically illegal because Best Buy offers the returns, but if you abuse it, they're within their right to ban you from returning things. Or start charging you restocking fees. Weaponized Schizophrenia with the 2, the 3DS I ordered has arrived, and I got the red one. Nice, bro. Congrats. Merc with the 2? Mmm, nice bait, mate.
Most TV reviewers get sent review models from the manufacturers. They don't actually buy them personally. Yeah, they get sent them for like a week or two. They do their testing and then the company sends it to the next person. Yep. Same with a lot of the phones and shit that people do reviews on. They don't get to keep the phones. They just get them for like a week or something. Otherwise, you'd have like a million fucking TVs in your house, which would be very impractical. Merc with the two just played S4. Absolutely uninspired. S4? What is S4? Let me think. Season four of what? Of COD? Yeah, I mean, the COD season is kind of lame. Oh, Halo? Gotcha. Gotcha. Sorry, I don't really know which uh, game or season or whatever we're referring to. Beastly Feeds with the 10. Hey, Griffin, it's been a bit. X Defiance open beta begins tomorrow. I think you'd enjoy it. Um, It would be awesome to see you stream it and to hear your thoughts. Um, it's on Uplay, right? Hmm. I'd have to download Uplay, but I guess I could try it out. I don't know. The main issue I have with X Define is they have the shitty fucking Black Ops 3 super abilities, which I think is a huge fucking mistake. Like, if they want to compete with COD, they should get the base fucking COD gameplay down first and make, like, a pure shooting experience not a fucking you know destiny super spam situation i don't know i mean i guess i could try it it's free after all which is all i can afford these days and how's apollo been he's good man he got his uh nut snip uh last monday so he's been doing pretty good he's rocking the cone right now Tony Esquire with the five. Appreciate it, man. Big ups. Feeds with the five. I'm not sure about how to get on PC, and the super aren't really a problem. You barely ever see them in matches because of match time. Yeah, I don't know. I just wish they weren't in there. Like, that whole era of Call of Duty fucking sucked because of them, so I don't know. I'll have to see. It's just one of those things I wish weren't in first person shooters. I like, I, I wish Destiny would get rid of them too, but. That's not going to happen, unfortunately. Merc with the two, you should play Battle Bit Remastered. I heard it's just a Battlefield clone. Like, at that point, I just play Battlefield 2042. Like, shit. I have that game just sitting in my uh, Steam library. Unplayed. Like, if I'm going to play a Battlefield clone, I'll just play Battlefield. Like, shit. 
I just don't really have a desire to play Battlefield, in all honesty. Big Team Halo Heavies? Dude, I have never enjoyed Big Team Battle in Halo. Halo to me is only fun when you have tiny ass maps and you're constantly engaged in combat. Like, any Halo game that has huge maps with like fucking people spamming the fuck out of long range weapons is just really fucking boring. Which is why Halo Reach fucking sucks so much. The maps were way too big and everybody just DMR spammed. My charging stand for um, I showed you all the other night. It's got a uh, charging thing for your phone, Apple Watch, and AirPods, like all MagSafe charging, and it's really fucking nice. Like my phone is like literally floating. It looks like now, which is pretty neat. This fucking stand was a W purchase. It even has a fan built into the charging pad for your phone so that when it charges wires, like wirelessly, your phone's not hot when you pick it up from like, you know, the energy transfer from the fucking uh, wireless charger. Like, it's really fucking cool, dude. Like, honestly, this was a W purchase. It was like only a hundred bucks too, which was well worth. Timothy Marco the five, according to our local Reddit opinion channel, Yong Yeah, we're mourning the cancellation of Titanfall three, that was in development for ten months. Oh no, man. Let's pour one out for a dead fucking comrade. I don't know. Like, does anybody give a shit at this point? It's been six fucking years. Like, shit, man. <laughs> I don't know. Like, does anyone actually care at this point? Apex is bigger than Titanfall ever was, so money talks at the end of the day. Oh, fuck off, dude. I'm not playing on this fucking map. Yeah, well, of course they canceled it. Fucking Apex made a shit ton of money for them. It's like Epic Games canceling the fucking uh, Unreal Tournament reboot. Like, shit, of course they're going to focus on Fortnite. It actually makes money. Believe it or not, guys, game developers are there to make fucking money first and foremost, not be passion project creators. Crazy. Yeah, Destiny is way better than Halo. The only thing I'd say is Apex is not better than Titanfall because Apex is not a traditional multiplayer game with a battle royale mode. If Apex was a traditional multiplayer game and then also had a battle royale mode, I would agree. Potentially. I really just don't give a fuck about Battle Royale, dude.
Yeah, it's a shame that Battlefield outsold Titanfall, because Battlefield 1 was fucking garbage, bro. That shit was so fucking boring. I played Battlefield 1 for like one hour and never touched it again, bro. That game was fucking a snooze fest. Like, I, I don't understand people's fascination with like old fucking guns. Like, why the fuck do I want to use like an M1 carbine? Like, fuck that shit, man. World War One and World War Two just need to fucking vanish from the first-person shooter genre. Like, that shit should have died in the early 2000s. Easily. Vanguard was not a World War II shooter, motherfuckers. It took place after World War II, and it played nothing like a World War II shooter. The guns were more accurate and shot faster than the guns in this fucking game. So, yeah. Come at me again, bitches. But yeah, I would have preferred if Vanguard was Advanced Warfare 2, so... Yeah, World War One and World War Two are some of the most boring fucking time periods in human history. On God, bro. I am, like, so fucking sick of hearing about those, like, fucking dumbass wars, man. I don't know, like... There's nothing really that interesting about them. Like, they're just basically years of unnecessary conflict that resulted in literally just making the world worse. It's just really fucking obnoxious. I don't know. I don't understand the fascination with World War II. And also, it's been done to fucking death in video games at this point. How is millions of people dying boring? Because I didn't get to kill them, bro. Duh. Obviously. Dude, first-person shooters should either just be modern or futuristic. Like, stop with this fucking historic bullshit. Honestly, I'm really fucking sick of, like, historic shooters. There's nothing fun about using old-ass guns. Like, the best fucking weapon and the most fun weapon in Vanguard was literally the fucking laser gun from Advanced Warfare. Keep that shit in mind. Like, the most fun gun in Vanguard to use was the one they took from Advanced Warfare that was a literal fucking laser. Dude, I would love a Civil War based shooter where you could just fucking reload every 20 seconds after each individual shot. You shoot once, reload your fucking gun for 20 seconds, you get to shoot again. That'd be so fun. Oh my god, man. And then if you get shot, you die from fucking gangrene or some shit. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> How fucking boring.
I'm really focused? Not really. Dude, honestly, Call of Duty 10,000 BC would be way more interesting than fucking World War II or World War One. 100%. Why did his fan base go after you, bro? Did you point out that uh, Nick Merckx didn't deserve to have his skin removed from the game? And you got called a homophobe? That Really? That's the reason why? Oh my fucking god. I was just being sarcastic. Is that actually fucking real? Bruh. No? Okay. Shit. That would have been fucking great. The 4090 drama? Uh oh, man. Did you say that you couldn't retire off of $1,500? Well, actually, if you lived in Ethiopia, you could easily retire off of $1,500. They originally, um,. They were originally going to make a Roman Call of Duty game. That was the original plan for Call of Duty was to be like different war games throughout history. Like basically the first Call of Duty was World War II and then they were planning on making one about the Roman Empire, the Civil War, like a bunch of different like wars in human history. That was like the whole theme of the franchise originally. So yeah, there was going to be a Roman Empire COD, bruh. That shit could have been lit as fuck. I saw there with the five. Hey, now look at Griffin Gaming Raw uploads about section. Why am I dragged into this? Uh, I have no idea. I don't manage that channel. What do you mean by you're getting dragged into it?
Why did they scrap it? Because the uh, first person shooter games were so fucking successful, they just continued making money. Dare I say it, hateful cunt. Do, wait, Griffin FTC hat, wait, do have a weak case, right? I read their main points and it sounds like they do personally. Sounds fucking retarded if you ask me. I read like their uh, summarized points and it doesn't really sound like they have any sort of case as usual. The FTC has had a really bad track record at, you know, trying to sue companies recently, so it's not really surprising. They have a fucking brainlet in charge of them. They have a big business bad brainlet as the head of the FTC. So it's not really surprising their actual arguments are fucking stupid. I should be in charge of the FTC, man. I'd put American business back on the right course. Give me the power. I saw there with the two, it's on the community tab. Dude, this fucking protein powder low key makes me feel like I'm gonna fucking puke. <laughs> Maybe I should stop drinking. This is oh no, Twitter and review tech are big mad at I Siler's girl. Uh oh. Well dude, don't you like always say like that's your chick? I thought you staked a claim, my guy. I thought you made your intentions to uh court her. Uh, very clear and tip your fedora in her general direction. Yuck, yuck. Galaxy Fur with a 5, I just heard about Microsoft leak wanting to kill Sony's PlayStation with the acquisition. FTC may be able to get an injunction on that. I doubt it. I think the court probably just tossed it out, I think. Because it was redacted, so... They're, it's probably not admissible because it was obtained by illegal means. You know, leaks are not legal means of uh, evidence. Private communications that are, you know, leaked illegally without a warrant 
are not admissible in court, so... It's like if I recorded a phone call illegally where someone, um, you know, admitted to committing a murder, for example, but it was a two-party consent state and I illegally recorded the conversation, even though I literally have the motherfucker on tape saying, I killed them, you know, it wouldn't be admissible in court because, you know, it's illegally obtained evidence. So, my guess is it won't even be in consideration because I believe... It's just a judge making the decision, so a judge will know to ignore that type of shit. Like, judges typically can, uh, separate themselves from that type of bias pretty well. No, it's illegal to use illegally obtained evidence in court. Am I in legal trouble? Only if the IRS catches on to my massive tax fraud. Wait, what? Huh? What? Dude, DSP is a whole ass fucking clown, bruh. Hopefully he never gets his internet back. Can gaming YouTubers tax deduct PS5s? Yup. As long- Dude, if I even flash something I purchase on stream, technically, it's used for content creation purposes. Like, if I went and bought a fucking Lamborghini, and I made a video, like, showing off said Lamborghini, I could write that shit off on my taxes for content creation expenses. Like, it's literally what all these celebrities do, man. Is, like, they buy, like, these houses, jets, planes, fucking helicopters, cars, and they show them off on their social media and then they can write it off as a business expense. So it like shields them from income tax. That's why all these rappers and shit buy like fucking gold chains and fucking houses and fucking Bugattis and all that type of shit. Because instead of having the money in the bank and taxable, if they spend it on shit that they use in like music videos or on social media, they don't have to fucking pay tax on the money spent. So it's like basically getting a 30% discount on whatever you buy. Well, in their case, like 50% discount. Because they would lose 50% of their income in taxes if they didn't spend it first. So, yeah. Theoretically, I could write off every single fucking video game, like, dollar I've ever spent on my taxes. I just don't. Because I don't want to get audited. Like, the more you write off, the higher your chances of getting audited. So, I just say, fuck it. I don't want to deal with that. Because then I have to hire a lawyer, which the money I save would then be spent on a fucking lawyer. So, not really worth it in my opinion. Well, Mr. Beast probably has a team of accountants that do all of his fucking numbers for him. I do not. So. Mr. Beast probably has like five fucking tax lawyers working for him full time, dedicated to just him. When I get to that point, then yeah, I'll use every single fucking uh, tax advantage I can, but. Yeah. Oh, so I did my inventory today, guys, and, like, assigned values to all my shit. Like, I looked up last solds on everything that I have. Guess how much in fucking sealed Pokemon product I have. Somebody take a guess. I want to see if anyone's close. It was close to what I thought. Two dollars? Oh my god, no way. You got it. Yeah, I do have two dollars, technically. Mm. 
Mm, someone was close. Not quite there, though. It's under 50k. That's way too high. Ah, uh, Mr. Fat, you are correct. You win nothing. It was 25k. Yeah, I looked up like the individual value, like a couple boxes I have that I bought for like 18 a piece. Like I bought like 40 of them, like for $18 a piece, they've gone up to like 50 and it's like fucking stupid, bro. Like a lot of my shit has doubled since I've bought it. Like my ultra premium collections are worth like 400 bucks now and I was buying them for 250 bucks. So that's pretty nice. Uh, my celebrations ETBs that I bought for fifty dollars each are up to ninety a piece. Like I'm stonking, bruh. Absolutely fucking stonking. Like very few things I bought did not appreciate in value. No, dude, Pokemon is not just resellers flipping to other resellers. Like, I could go take all my shit to, like, a local card shop and they would buy it because people love to open old Pokemon product. Like, people will spend fuck tons of money opening, like, $300 packs. It's fucking crazy, dude. Like, people spend a fuck ton of money opening Pokemon products, not just keeping it sealed. Like, people have an addiction and just genuinely enjoy opening packs. I personally do not have any enjoyment from opening packs. Personally, like, they, it brings me nothing but fucking misery. Because I'm like, damn, I just opened a $50 box and got $30 worth of cards. If even that. That's if you're lucky. Or you'll get, like, a $100 booster box, open it, and get, like, a $20 card. And it's like, oh, yeah. That was so much fun! <laughs> Are you gonna buy the RTX 4090 Super? I can't afford this shit! Dude, I'm broke. You know, I could really use 1500 bucks right now. It'd be life-changing money. Real talk, guys. I could pay my taxes. But no, nah, I probably won't, man. It's just, dude, it's really hard for me to justify spending money on gaming right now, guys. In all honesty, like, I just genuinely don't have a fucking interest in spending money on gaming products. Are you a fan? I like Pokemon, but I hate the modern cards. I just buy them to fucking flip. I mean, so, like, I have my personal collection of Pokemon cards, which I'm done with. Like, I already collected everything I wanted to collect. So, I'm fucking done with Pokemon collecting. Now it's just flipping and making money. Am I gonna talk about and Oh, dude, the whole Andrew Tate thing's stupid. Like, they literally were coming up on the six month deadline. So they literally had to charge him or admit that they wasted six months. So of course they're gonna fucking charge him. Now, is the case gonna go anywhere? Probably fucking not, because it's the same exact shit that they've had this entire fucking time, but then waited six months to bring up charges on him in the first place. So. Again, if they had anything solid, he would have already been charged, convicted, and in prison by now. They literally are just taking as long as humanly fucking possible, probably just to try and get him to sign a deal to fucking hand over all his financial assets. Like, if they actually fucking had something, he would have been charged a long fucking time ago and already convicted.
so of course they're gonna fucking charge him. They're not gonna admit they wasted six months and like illegally detained him pretty much. Well, dude, he's in a corrupt third world country, Eastern European shithole, which why the fuck he ever went back to that country after making money is a complete fucking mystery to me, but you know? This is just par for the course for shithole Eastern European third world countries, man. So you kind of get what you ask for. He said he liked Romania because of their corruption, so... <laughs> Does it feel good, though? Like, I don't know, man. USA all the way, baby! I silent with the five, I probably will be gone for a while after finding out I need to take weekly urinary tests for alcohol. God, speed, fam. Wait, what happened, man? What do you mean you have to take a uh, weekly urinalysis test for alcohol? The fuck? What happened, bro? Oh, DUI? Shit, dude. That fucking blows, man. That fucking blows. Yeah, one of the YouTube channels I watched a lot, um, he recently got, I think, arrested for a DUI, which is unfortunate because I actually like this content. Yeah, I think DUI is an over-fucking-prosecuted uh, offense, personally. Like, as long as you're not, like, unless you hurt somebody, like, why the fuck does it look that? I don't know. It's like speeding tickets, man. Cops cause more fucking accidents on the road, pulling people over for speeding, probably, than speeding itself actually causes. Nah, DUI is not serious shit. You drank two fucking beers in an hour and you're technically over the legal limit, man. Anybody can fucking drive after drinking two beers. Like, fuck off, like... The DUI is way too fucking strict. Pot had investor with a five. There's a new law in Kentucky where if you Minecraft someone, you have to pay child support for their. Wait, what? So if you kill somebody, you have to pay child support? I mean, I guess that kind of makes sense. Look at the statistics. Nobody cares about statistics, man. A crime should be punished, not prevented. That's my personal opinion. You shouldn't punish someone on the possibility that they could kill someone. You should punish them if they do kill someone.
Dude, it's fucking illegal. So is using your phone in the car, and I guarantee you every motherfucker in this chat does that shit, so shut the fuck up. Bro, people on their phone causes more accidents than drunk driving. Are you fucking stupid? Being distracted in the car is the number one cause of fucking accidents. Guess what they're fucking distracted by? Their phone! Gaming. <laughs> Crazy. I saw it with the 10, my tire blew out, so I pulled over and random officer pulled up to see if I was okay and smelled alk. Oh, that, dude, that fucking sucks. Bro, what you should have said. All right. If that shit ever happens again, okay? This is like real. And this will get you out of trouble. Say, I wasn't driving my friend who was sober hitchhiked and is going to get a tow truck and then just call some random fucking number and be like oh i can't get into contact with them do you know a number for a towing truck because unless they can prove you were driving the car they cannot charge you with shit. fyi Unless they physically see you driving the car, it's not a DUI. How do they know you're the only person in the car? You can say the other person is walking into town to go get help. Or the other person got a fucking ride from someone on the highway. And you can't get into contact with them. They will never be able to prove it, dude. Unless they have physical proof that you were the one driving the car, it is not a crime to be drunk in a car. It is a crime to be drunk behind the wheel of a car driving. Well, yeah, the thing is, man, if you already admitted to the cops that you were the one driving, then I don't know if the lawyer can get you out of it, but typically you can, uh, I mean, obviously it's kind of like hindsight's 2020, but yeah, it just depends. It's probably too late now. Yeah, unfortunately you can't give cops a fat stack because they have the stupid dash cams nowadays. Yeah, the best the lawyer can probably do now is get you to like just pay a fine and then you'll have to go on probation. That's probably about it. You'll probably still be able to keep your license. I think it's like 15 grand to get out of a DUI, typically. Uh, maximum of the two, three years later, the coffin was still full of jello. Bruh. What? <laughs> the fuck? Well, it depends on your state and how severe the, you know, DUI is.
Yeah, I know this one guy. He lost his license because he got like 15 speeding tickets in a year. <laughs> Bruh. Dude, speeding tickets are the dumbest shit ever, bro. Everybody fucking speeds. The people who drive slow as fuck is, are more dangerous than the people actually speeding, bro. And you cannot convince me otherwise. Like, the people who are speeding are engaged fucking drivers, man. Like, when I'm speeding, I'm paying attention to the road. You know, like, basically undivided attention. The only time I'm not speeding is when I'm, like, fucking with my phone or, like, changing the song or something like that. Like, the only time I'm not speeding is when I'm not really engaged with driving. But when I'm speeding, my eyes are, like, locked on the fucking road, and that's all I'm focusing on. Like, speeding is a victimless crime, honestly. It sucks, too, because most of the speed limits were, like, made in the fucking 70s when we had a gas shortage. And instead of, you know, actually drilling for fucking oil, you know, they're like, oh, let's just make everybody drive slower so they use less gas. Because that makes sense. Uh, I saw it with the 10. Yeah, the probation sucks. I'm a weekend drink person. The issue is today I found out it's a weekly test. Have to call a number every day. I'm in Colorado. DUI is extremely strict. That, that fucking sucks, bro. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, unfortunately, you know, some states are just fucking bitches about dumb shit, man. Like, unless you hurt somebody, I don't really understand why it's a big fucking deal, honestly. Like, it should just be, like, a slap on the wrist offense, personally. Like, give you a big-ass ticket, and then that's it. Like, just make money from it, and then be done. Dude, if I was a cop and somebody was speeding, I literally would not give a fuck. I would never pull someone over for speeding. That's such a bitch thing to do, bro. What would Griffin do if he was on jury duty? Man, he didn't do nothing. Dude, honestly, I would be the contrarian, bro. I'd be like, nah, he didn't do it, man. Bullshit. Or I'd be like, yeah, bitch had it coming, man. Not guilty. I don't know, dude. I would not be quick to convict somebody, personally. But it depends on what it was. I actually want to do jury duty at some point. I've never been selected for it, unfortunately. Uh, weaponized schizophrenia with the two of the cops in my city drive over the... Yo, dude, my favorite thing is when the cops turn on their fucking lights to run a red light because they don't want to fucking stop. Dude, fuck those people. Dude, most cops are fucking pricks. Absolute fucking stuck-up pricks with their own fucking head up their ass. Doom Boom with the five. Got a ticket for not doing a full stop at a four-way stop. So only slowed down to six miles. <laughs> I'm telling you, dude. These are like victimless fucking crimes. These motherfuckers are just like power-hungry fucking retards, bro. But that's what they train cops to be, dude. If you're too smart, they don't want you to be a police officer. They want a bunch of dipshits, unfortunately. They don't want intelligent cops. Because then they're easier to control. Beastly feeds with the two. First speeding ticket was 121 and a 75 at 2 a.m. I don't even think my car can go 121. 
But like, if the road's empty, who fucking, like... Bruh, like, that's the thing, is like, if there's nobody around you and you're speeding, why the fuck does it matter? It's so dumb, dude. It's absolutely fucking stupid. The Germans have the right idea with the Autobahn. Drive as fast as you fucking want. They probably have less accidents than we do on American highways. Siler with the 50. Damn, man, I really appreciate it. Shit. RIP chat. Hopefully, I don't get tested for the rest of the week. I did a test today. It should be fine. And yes, it's an addiction, but only at home, unfortunately. Sorry, bring the room down. Four month alcoholic lawyer wants me to take classes, and I will. Just pick up another. <laughs> like, as shitty as the sounds, bro. Pick up another fucking addiction for the time being like as fucking dumb as that sounds like try fucking smoking like a cigar or try like fucking uh, smoking weed or something like find something else that like I guess curves the craving that you won't get in trouble for and then you can go back if you want <laughs> yeah I mean if you want to fix the problem then obviously don't go back but like, as shitty as that sounds, like, honestly, you know, pick something that won't get you in trouble if you absolutely need to. Addiction is a bottom G mentality. Well, bruh, Andrew Tate has a fucking nicotine and caffeine addiction, so. Bruh. Yeah, get the crystal blue persuasion. Yeah, I Siler, order a bunch of like cranberry juice to get fucking delivered and just start drinking that shit like crazy. Just chug fucking cranberry juice, bro. It fucking purges you of any uh, impurities in your bloodstream. That's what people do to get out of drug tests. Like, just pound like a couple gallons of fucking uh, cranberry juice over the next couple days. But make sure it's pure cranberry juice and not like fucking grape juice with a splash of cranberry juice inside of it. One of my friends, um, like, played D3 college football, bro. Yeah, big deal, I know. But he was smoking weed all fucking summer and forgot he had to take a drug test. So he just pounded a fuck ton of cranberry juice and passed the drug test. So, yeah. There you go. It works. And I think alcohol is in your system way less than a drug, so... Order that shit on, like, fucking Uber Eats. I think they deliver groceries now. Well, yeah, dude, you gotta stop drinking, but if you chug a fuck ton of cranberry juice, it cleans your bloodstream out.
No, this was a different guy. I had multiple people that I knew that played D3 college football, bro. <laughs> it was kind of a trend. There was a few. Wow, you slept with the college football? Britt, why are you bringing your fantasies into the stream again? Like, I understand you wish your high school's fucking football team would have run train on you, but not everybody has the same fucking wish. Twenty twenty three perfect dark with a five really. I go eighty five in the fast lane all the time and my state troopers don't care. I love when people slow down to seventy as if the cops didn't see them speeding. Yeah, a lot of times they're hunting for the big fish, like people going like a hundred. Cause that's an easy fucking court W. That's an arrest right there. They can fucking straight up put you in the back of a car at that point. At least in Virginia, I think you have to go over uh over the speed limit to get reckless driving. Weaponized schizophrenia with the five. It got pulled over last year because my car matched the description of some guy who was in a hit and run. And I got out because the damage on mine was old and rusty. Nice, bro. That's pretty shitty. Uh, fucking vehicular profiling, bro. That's discrimination. Uh, Rackenzie with the two. My addiction is being in... Oh my god. Oh my god. I ain't reading that shit. Dog, y'all really think you're gonna catch me lacking like that? Come on now. I mean, I guess good bait attempt, but... I know how to read. Edge so, edge so fucking sharp, I'm gonna fucking cut my dick off, hell yeah, dude. Griffin needs to be edgy. Dude, I can't be edgy. That's what sucks, is YouTube's so fucking bitch made now. I can't even be edgy anymore. You get fucking banned. I can't be edgy if I want to, bro. They've changed all their fucking terms and conditions over the past couple years. Be edgy. Dude, I can't even be edgy like in 2019. They've changed their fucking terms and conditions so many times. I pander to anime dorks. That's right. As long as the anime dorks. Give me monies! CIA with the five, I got Persona 5 physical for my Switch. Also, can we watch Maddie Pajamas? <laughs> what? <laughs> Maddie Pajamas? <laughs> About Starfield? 
He says PlayStation is a dying platform. I mean, I guess. Who the fuck is Matty Pajamas? <laughs> what type of fuck? Like, is he like some fucking autistic kid? He's like, I wear pajamas with little boots on. Does he got like footy pajamas or some shit? Oh my god. Matty Pajamas. Dude, I only have one pair. Well, it's not even like an actual set of pajamas. But I have like one pair of pajama pants from when I was like, what? How old would I have been? 14? I bought Gears of War 3 fucking pajama pants from Walmart. <laughs> Those are like the only fucking like actual pajamas that I've ever owned, bro. They were like, I think four or five bucks or some shit. So yeah, I still have them. I have not worn them in a while. I don't think they fit. I don't fucking know, dude. They're probably like either shrunken to shit or way too big at this point. I have no fucking idea. Cause like the elastic in those fucking cheap ass pants goes out. So they're probably like fucking huge. It's like, you know, when you have like those exercise shorts or like fucking sweatpants after a while and like the elastic goes out from just age, they like turn fucking huge because they don't like actually uh, constrict anymore. I can't imagine Walmart pajamas are of high quality. I wear tidy whities Yeah, I do. Well, they're not that white anymore. <laughs> I need to learn how to wipe. Dude, no one should sleep in fucking socks. Dude, wearing socks to bed is like really degenerate, bro. Where the fuck is you generation? I don't know. It's probably uh at the bottom of a bottle because Japan ate, raised the age of consent from 13 to 16. His end game plan is uh changed now. Dude, I wear my Ninja Adidas shoes during sex. They've never been worn. Craver is back in the chat. Today was my first day of my job. It was very hype. Nice, bro. Too. I play Genshin Impact. I don't need age of consent. 
Well, that is pretty true for Genshin Impact players, but luckily that game's Chinese, not Japanese, so you're safe. I'm weaponized schizophrenia with the two. Sorry, the Master Chief Cross stays on. <laughs> is it like a fucking uh, Christian cross, but instead of Jesus up there, it's Master Chief? Hell yeah, dude. And I silent with the 10, the number I call, it's an automated voice saying I need to come in for testing or not. Um, my P or parole officer is very lenient, even over my lawyer that I dropped 4K for. But if I disappear, you know, gotcha, man. Well, hopefully you can fight the cravings, dude. Like, you just got to find something to keep your mind occupied instead of like wanting to drink all the time. I mean, hopefully, if you haven't done it already, you, like, threw out all your alcohol that you have at your place. Like, I would start with that. Just get rid of it. Like, just go grab, like, a fucking garbage bag and, then, like, just toss all that shit, bro. I saw there with the five and yes, I'll get another lawyer if need be. The reasoning for the DUI is extremely family related, but it is what it is. Yeah, I'm sorry, man. But yeah, just trash all your fucking booze. Like you can rebuy it later once this shit's passed, but like don't fucking risk that shit. Like if you don't have it near you, the temptation's not gonna be there. Because, like, if you have to go through the extra steps of, like, leaving your house, buying the fucking shit, and then opening it, it's a lot, you know, more steps for you to, like, stop yourself. Melanie can fix me? There you go, man. Reject alcohol. Embrace the Bible. I'm pretty sure she would say something like that. Siler is converting to Christianity. That's right. He's going to become a Bible bumper. Bella Porsche or Melanie Mac? Uh, both are uh, haram. Man. Can't do it.
Uh, I don't really think the FTC is going to win, personally. I've seen their arguments. They're very fucking weak. They basically want uh, the judge to ignore the existence of Nintendo. Which is a fucking joke. They literally want the judge to ignore the existence of basically the longest uh, successfully run console manufacturer in the gaming industry. Which is pretty ironic. Any hopes for Nintendo Direct tomorrow? I didn't even know there was a Nintendo Direct tomorrow, so no. <laughs> I don't. What games have you guys been playing? Excel. Griffin, why did you say making kids wear bike helmets was bad? Because they look like fucking dorks. I never wore a helmet. The only time I ever fell off a bike was the first time I tried to ride with training wheels. After that, or without training wheels. Like, after that, I've never fallen off a fucking bike, and I used to ride my bike a lot. Like, literally, I don't even know how you fall off a bike unless your name's Joe Biden, bruh. How the fuck... Like, has anyone else fallen off their bike? Because I feel like it's almost impossible. I've never actually fallen off my bike, other than when I was literally learning to ride it. Yeah, I could ride with no hands as well. Shit was easy. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not gonna bubble wrap my kids, like, personally, you know? Getting hurt is part of growing up. These fucking helicopter bubble wrap parents are a fucking plague. You gotta allow your kids to fucking learn hard lessons. Griffin would be a terrible stepfather? Yeah, because I buy my stepdaughter's OnlyFans. Dude, do you guys remember that fucking news story where it was like... This bitch on OnlyFans, like, stepfather was, like, her biggest fucking supporter and, like, paid her to do, like, custom videos and shit. Y'all remember that fucking news story? That shit was fucking weak. That shit was fucking weak, dude. These OnlyFans bitches are in fucking denial. She goes, oh my god, he's such a creep. It's like, you're the one who's fucking selling themselves on the internet, sweetie. If you don't want if you don't want people fucking buying that shit, then quit fucking posting shit. It's like, oh my god. Dude, I'm telling you, these bitches are fucking stupid. Absolutely fucking stupid. They just can't grasp the idea that they're fucking dirty whores, bro. Like if you do OnlyFans, you are an internet whore. A whore is not selective with who gives them money. Otherwise, you wouldn't fucking sell it to anyone and everyone with a fucking credit card. It's like complaining that your creepy uncle comes to watch you at the strip club. It's like, don't be a fucking stripper then, dumb bitch. Like, holy fuck.
Oh, yeah, I heard about that dumb fucking OnlyFans bitch. She goes like, my kids can cry in their Ferrari. And it's like, yeah, they will be as they're driving it off a fucking bridge. Damn right they will be crying in their Ferrari. When their fucking naked mother getting pounded by 12-inch BBC gets sent to them on a daily basis to the point where they want to fucking kill themselves, they'll hop in the Ferrari, tears in their eyes, and fucking drive that shit right off a bridge. So yeah, they will be crying in their fucking Ferrari. Doesn't matter how much money you have, being a fucking child and seeing videos of your mother getting fucked is one of the most fucking confusing and like just traumatic fucking things you could probably go through. Like, imagine that, dude. The first fucking, like, naked woman you see is your fucking mom. Yeah, that's not gonna fuck you up mentally. I'm sure that's a very healthy thing, dude. That's a very fucking healthy situation to put your kids in. Dude, it's just fucking crazy. These bitches have zero fucking idea of, like, what consequences are. But that's because they're fucking young, dumb, and full of cum, as DSP would say. It is not the same trauma of catching your parents doing... Holy... Dude, no. That is not the same trauma as catching your parents doing it. Because if you walked in on your parents, you know, clapping cheeks, they would immediately fucking stop and, like, convince you, like, oh, we weren't doing anything, like, oh, like, you know. Whereas if literally you were a kid and you get sent a fucking 20-minute long gangbang video of your mom getting fucked by five different guys, you know, the only time they're gonna stop is when all five fucking loads have been poured on her fucking face. It's a very different situation, the fuck? That is not even comparable. Did my parents beat me? Um, they didn't like beat me. I think I got belted like two or three times, but that's about it.
Griffin got the belt when his parents discovered his OnlyFans. Yeah, that was a really upsetting day, man. A lot of emotions were going all over the place. See, the great thing will be is if I have a daughter, she'll have so much money by the age of 18, she won't even have to think about doing OnlyFans. That's the positive side of things. Elijah Petty with the two, you should get an editor to help you release more videos. It wouldn't work because the way I edit, I literally record and edit at the exact same time, so it would almost be impossible. I don't think I would benefit at all from having an editor. That's the thing, is the way I make videos is like, you literally could not have someone else edit them. Yeah, if I change to be a Mr. Beast clone, then maybe. The first person to take their hand off of a fucking boiling pot of water gets a dildo shoved up their ass. And the last one wins $500. Oh, dude, I'm Key would wouldn't even put his hand on the pot. He'd be like, my ass is ready. He would put one hand on each cheek and be like, they're spread, sir. Griffin talking about sex is very unchristian. I don't know. If God didn't want us talking about sex, then why did he make everybody massive fucking horn dogs, bro? Horny for money? Well, dude, have you seen Benjamin Franklin? That man fine as fuck. I mean, are you saying you wouldn't? Damn. Why do gay people exist? Easy. Gaming. Video games make you gay. Everyone knows this, but everyone wants to deny it. I'm a Buddhist? Hell yeah, dude. I have those like fat, big bellied men statues that you see in Chinese restaurants all over my place. Big Buddha. 
Dude, what the fuck even is Buddhism? I don't even know what the fuck it is, to be completely honest. I've always just thought it's kind of cringe. Weaponized schizophrenia with the two read songs of Solomon. What the fuck is that? Griffin needs to get my life. I agree, man. At least then somebody can enjoy the fruits of my labor. If Griffin ever gets married, I'll kill myself. Well, go ahead and load the gun, I'm key. You're gonna need it. To the bag yeah my gucci bag bro but yeah pretty much it's just me myself and i guys JBT with the 10. What's up, gamers? You know what it is. It's your boy, JBT, back at it again with the fire positive content recommendations. Watch and play all of it or half. I don't care. Oh my god. Griffin hasn't talked to a girl in years. <laughs> not fate. Well, actually, no, not. No, that's actually not true. Um, I have spoken to a girl face to face, just through work. That's about it. Other than like you know fucking cashiers and that type of shit, but yeah, the only time I've like talked to a girl is through work, pretty much. I mean, that's the only time I actually talk to people anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Click on the link. Why? Yeah. Oh. Do you want me to just play it in the background now? I mean, I can. Dude, that is positive content. Shit. You weren't joking. Welcome to... There's a million things, there's a million things that I stress about every day, every day. Weaponized schizophrenia with the two? What's your address? I'll bring JBT and the killer. Uh, 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, Washington, D.C. There's reasons for nothing. There's reasons for nothing. Look here! I'm a 30-year-old, overweight male, have no dreams or ambitions, all those have died, uh, all those have died, uh, those days happen sometimes. That's the day where you gain fucking weight. That's the day where you gain fucking weight, Jordy. That's the day where you gain fucking weight. That's the day, that's the day, ah! 
I hope your parents get in a car wreck. Said, I hope your parents die. I don't smile. Oh, Said, I hope your parents die. Said, I hope your parents die. I don't smile, man. I got nothing to smile about in life. Same, bro. I got nothing. Shout out Sean Franklin. Lord of the Wings. Reloading. Hey, <laughs> There's a million things, there's a million things that I stress about every day, every day. That I stress about every day, every day. There's a reason why I feel like a fat tub of shit every ounce of my day. Ounce of my day. Ounce of my day. Nothing. There's reason. Wings is so big he measures nothing. fucking time and ounces. Somebody drank all my Pepsi. Dude, that's one of the most iconic lines. Easily. Yeah, bro, this song hit my fucking soul. It really resonated with me. I'm a 450 pound dude. Oh, this is a good one. My life can't Excuses. Get much worse. My life can't get much worse. I can't do it. I can't take this shit no more, man. Come the fuck on, man. Look here. Look. Look here. Look here. Look. Let's excuses. Look here. Look here. Look, let's excuses. Appearing offline, appearing offline does not fucking stop excuses. Appearing offline, appearing offline does not stop. Look here, look here, look, let's excuses. Look here, look here, look, let's excuses. Appearing offline, appearing offline does not fucking stop it. Appearing offline, appearing offline does not fucking stop it. Fuck that nigga. Whatever, I hope your family dies in an automobile wreck. Because you're a fucking piece of shit. Human equivalent of a piece of shit. Fuck! Why the fuck you stream that shit? <laughs> nigga. No, I don't got any friends. I spend my entire life sitting in this room. Where we fucking leave, dude? I'm getting the fucking surgery. I would show you I'm getting surgery, but I. 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 Look here! Look here! Look! Let's excuses! Weaponized schizophrenia with the two song slaps, but be careful. JBT is toying with us. I don't know, man. I don't think he's setting us up. I think we're okay. Exactly, bro. That's why Wings is a real gamer, bro. He dropped the end bomb while playing COD. That's why I'm a fake and a fraud, guys, because I would never use a racial slur. Ever, bro. I don't have hate in my heart for anyone. Unless you're fucking poor. You never answer my question, can you see your dick? No, I can't. My name's Jordy. <laughs> fucking Dude, can fuck crap. Dude, little kid. This is the last rock. Fuck you! I don't give a fuck. I do not joke around. I don't give a fuck. I do not try to have fun. I do not try to laugh. I broke my controller. I don't give a fuck. Give a fuck. Dude, I have never used any racial slur on key. Quit lying. I don't give a fuck. Just because your guilty conscience is pushing you to admit something, it doesn't mean everyone else is in the same boat as your bigoted ass. Get the fuck out of my chat. Get somebody ban him. Get somebody ban him. Oh my fucking lord, dude. Real talk. Who is some pussy? Why don't you stop? Why don't you stop being a troll? Bro, I would never admit to something I didn't do. Sub only mode, please. That chair. Fuck you. I don't give a fuck. Give a fuck. I don't, I don't play infection fuck. in Halo. I don't. I don't. I don't give a. Give a if I drop a hundred, can I drop the hard R Griffin? Yeah, I don't fucking care. Go ahead. I don't I don't I don't give a fuck. 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 A hundred bucks is a hundred bucks, bro. Black. 
Hey, son. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. I'm not here to conversate, man. Fucking diggers better donate. Fucking diggers better donate. Wings beat you to him, man. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. I'm not here to conversate, man. Fucking diggers better donate. Fucking niggers better donate. I just wish I had a better street. Jordy drives Lamborghini. Jordy steals money from children. This is the reason I have trouble. This is the reason people kick me. All they fucking do is kick me. All they fucking do is kick me. Like you kick your dog's cage. Welcome to Band World. So stop giving fucking advice. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Give me money. Weaponized schizophrenia with the two. I'm not racist, but a hundred bucks is a hundred bucks. Amen, dude. Money talks, bullshit walks, bro. I'm not here to conversate, man. Me too, man. You guys just don't understand like how often people fuck with me. It's not like I, when I end the stream, people stop fucking with me. The money's slowly I'm seeping so out of it, and all I get is grief. Big up Liquid Richard. Big up Liquid Richard. My name is Richard. I hate streaming. The fact is, I'm I'm not a good streamer. I do this to try to milk the last little bit of my viewership. I love this fucking song. It's where I got this. Either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Either subscribe, donate, yep. or get the fuck out. There it was. My controller? Sorry, man. I'm about to launch that shit. Ah, oh, come on, man. Either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Where is fuck? I don't know where he's gonna pop out. Oh, he's not, cause he's a fucking pussy. Shit. Yeah, I'm about to break my controller. Shout out to my fellow finger sniffers and that boy wings over dips his chair for holding it down. That's the real motherfucker. The OG back here. You fucking dick sucker. <laughs> the fucking chair squeak. All right, one more kill. Can I get it? Of course. 
I'm a pro. My name is Richard. I'm a living meme. Shout out Sean Franklin. All women are hoes. All women are tricks. All women are good for is sucking our dick. All women can cook. All women can clean. But you know women ain't shit if you know what I mean. All women are stupid. <laughs> all women are dumb. And all they're good for is making me cut. Based. Damn, bro. Wing spitting. A woman, I'd kill myself to so suck my dick, and here's to your health. You fucking dick sucker. <laughs> John Rakel's the bitch. Fuck that nigga. Fuck that nigga. You fucking dick sucker. John Rakel's the bitch. Fuck that nigga. Fuck that nigga. You fucking dick sucker. John Rakel's the bitch. Fuck that nigga. Fuck that nigga. You fucking dick sucker. John, quit being a bitch. Fuck that nigga. Fuck that nigga. Quit being a bitch. Quit being a bitch. Dude, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up, dude. You're a little kid. Everybody gets a man. Is there a mod in the room? Oh, shit. I'm out of ammo. Hell yeah. What's up, everybody? It's that smooth pimp daddy. Big up, Liquid Richard. Shout out, Lord. Damn, bro. I really need this dick sucked. I really need this pussy. Oh, what really a camping little squat, bruh. I wanted it so fucking bad. I was popping off on these retards. Pussy's not gonna slay it, so I gotta slay it, so. Amen, bro. All day slay, all day slay, all day slay. Slay, slay. Pussy's not gonna slay it, so I gotta slay Hey, son, all day slay, all day slay, all day slay. I really need to make this fucking money to make this fucking money to make this fucking money. He got a rubber bag, he got a rubber bag, he got a rubber kiss on her, he got a rubber titty, and then you gotta lay it down. Big J doesn't have a problem. What I do is I just pick my stomach up and put it on their lower back. Boy, Jay's about to go up here and suck it. Sex is only fun for about the first two minutes. It's like a fucking hour and a half workout. Yesterday I had like 15 <laughs> boneless dicks. Pussy's not gonna slay it, so I gotta slay it. All day slay, all day slay, all day slay. Pussy's not gonna slay it, so I gotta slay it. Hey, son, all day slay, all day slay, all day slay. I really need to make this fucking money to make this fucking money to make this fucking money. Vestling's a lifesaver, it's a big guy. You know something is wrong with your fucking game. When the guy's like, I'm a zero seven five, seven pedal fell back, got the ice selling fast, then the thing is settled bad, bitches want to be me, try to cover up on the Z back cars. Oh Shout out Sean Franklin. Hey son, my name's Richard. I'm washed up, dude. I really need to make this fucking money. I'm wanting it so fucking bad. <laughs> My life is just waking up, being fucking fat, being fucking fat, being gay. All it is, get the fuck! All it is, fuck! I lost five subscribers on Blade Rainbow Six. I was struggling to keep 100 years. Struggling to keep 100 years. I'm almost at 300 years. On a game I fucking hate. On a game I fucking hate. That's a game I fucking hate. Because I don't know how to. Damn, I did well, man. Shagger, you're not even fucking subscribed. Just get the fuck out of here. Why the fuck do you do this shit, dude? Why the fuck? Oski Oski with a two. I'm playing Dark Souls one. Nice choice, man. Uh, what's a good gift? Oh, like at the beginning of the game. Honestly, I don't really think it matters. I think you can get every one of those items anyway. So, uh, I have no idea. Honestly, I don't remember what the gifts are. But I think you can get. You can pretty much get anything you want. Or is it Dark Souls 2 that you get the uh, fucking like skeleton key or whatever the fuck it's called? I don't remember. Sucks like wet dick in a fucking Olive Garden parking lot.
is a submachine gun beat the bar. Look how shit I got. The, the master corner. key? Look how shit I got. Yeah, I corner. think you want that. I mean, I think everything else is pretty much like generic pickups. Dude, I'm too good for phase, honestly. Look at that, 669, guys. Hell yeah. Cod is generic, so... Am I supposed to stop playing it now? Because it's generic? Okay. <laughs> Not everything has to be like artsy fucking... I don't know. Griffin loves the child groomer game. Hey man, I'm not playing gay shit and ass. Hey, thanks, Britt. I really appreciate you standing up for me against bullies like I'm key. When you play in Goodbye Volcano High, when everyone decides to open your wallet and give me all of your monies. AKA never. have zero desire to play furry dating sim guys like believe it or not you know Well, dude, it's a game about furries in high school. Of course it's going to be dog shit. Shit, I need some head tonight. Well, dude, the local toothless crack whore is ready to fulfill that pleasure. Hey, guys, what's it like to hold a girl's hand? Can somebody let me know? Thanks. I'm really afraid to hold a girl's hand, guys, because my hand gets really sweaty when I get nervous. So I feel like... They get grossed out by my sweaty palms. Yeah, I've seen the 40 year old virgin, bro. With all his like fucking action figures and shit. <laughs> yeah. Dude, that's exactly how I picture most of these fucking Funko Pop retards. 
Like, oh, my collection. Only their Funko Pops won't be worth anything. Please stop using slurs? Bro, if I was actually using slurs, I would already be banned. The fuck? I'm not dropping N bombs and F bombs. The fuck? I'd already be fucking banned from YouTube if I was dropping slurs. Duh. I've never said a slur in my entire life. Such hateful language would never pass from my virgin lips. But no, I'd never be dumb enough to actually use, like, the fucking N-word on stream or some shit like that. Even quoting somebody. Hell nah. Oh, damn. Plant guy s streaming now. Okay. Who is Plant Guy? Ooh, Griffin said rape, and rape is good. Wasn't that like an iDubs quote? He'd probably apologize for that now. I'm pretty sure he like chugged something, burped, and then said rape is good. I'm pretty sure that's what that was from. He'd probably be like, oh my god, I'm so sorry. I, I, I shouldn't uh, downplay the seriousness of sexual assault. Like, fuck off, dog. Cucked ass motherfucker. Dude, that whole fucking thing is just so retarded. It's like, oh yeah, guys, I made uh, tens of millions of dollars potentially over the years from, you know, my hateful and harmful content, but, you know, now I took the fucking blue pill and I'm sorry, guys. I should have never made that content. Like, fuck right off, dude. What a virtue signaling piece of shit. I'm blue pilled. No, -uh, bro. I don't take Viagra, dude. I Dubs probably would have to take Viagra to actually get hard to that ugly ass girlfriend he's got. Real talk. Talk about a boner killer. Clitoris is probably bigger than his dick. Real talk. <laughs> oh shit, guys. The Last of Us Part 2 is $12 at New Egg with code CRP Clear 222. Get them while you can, guys. It's going to go quick. $12 for the greatest video game of all time. You would actually have to be retarded to pass up on that deal, man. What a steal. I'm going to buy 800 copies with my left hand.
It's funny Griff tries to act like he's intelligent when he is a left-wing retard. That's right, guys. Black Lives Matter. Trans kids' voices are valid. Stand with Ukraine. Love Trump's hate. Uh, what else should I, uh... Pump out. Let's go, Brandon. I yeah. agree. Oh, that's right. Sex work is real work. Silence is violence. Uh. You fucking cock. I know that's one of your favorite words, you right-wing asshole. Say, come on, cock. Ask real fucking questions, cock. And don't be a fucking pussy because you're a bigoted asshole too. I Fuck think you. Why are you playing COD then you support Activision? Because I already bought the fucking game, bro. Why would I not play a video game that I've already fucking paid for? Like, you buy a video game to play it, my dude. Why the fuck would I not play a video game that I own? I mean, should I literally ask you, bro, why do you drive the car that you bought? Activision is pushing woke agenda. Who isn't? Name a company that's not pushing woke agendas in video games. And I will tell you you're wrong. Every single fucking company on planet Earth is like this fuck, like especially in the gaming industry, dude. Like people are, I don't know. Look at the type of people that make fucking video games. If you're quote unquote against wokeness, stop playing video games completely. Because every single fucking developer, like 99% of the time, is gonna support the current thing. Like, 99% of fucking corporations are going to support the current thing because it's the path of least resistance. So, you can either sit there and boycott literally every single fucking company to ever exist on planet Earth, live a miserable fucking life, or you can just accept the fact that, hey, the world is hyper-politicized and there's not really anything I can fucking do about it. Because until you got the money to actually have influence, you're wasting your fucking breath. Dude, Nintendo engages in female censorship, which people claim is woke, bro. You know, they desexualize female characters when it comes to the Western release of their video games. So, you know, by a lot of fucking, you know, people's definitions, that would fall under woke. So, also Nintendo, you know, 
has a fucking ESG fucking segment on their website. And if that's not woke, I don't know what the fuck is. Cause me with the five for triggering KI. No problem, man. This will never end, and you are one of the many reasons why. Dude, I don't give a fuck. Like, do you actually think any intelligent person gives a fuck about stupid media pushes? Like, you're really pressed about marketing campaigns. My guy, this is why you're gonna be stuck in the fucking NPC bot world. You're like literally doing exactly what they fucking want you to do. Worrying about stupid shit that doesn't fucking matter. So you never focus on the stuff that does. Like, well, you're sitting here bitching and moaning about fucking video games having a fucking gay pride flag or some shit as their fucking Twitter icon. You know, you could be channeling that energy on actually doing something productive so that you can make enough money in life to actually, you know, have influence to hope to affect change. Because literally all you're fucking doing is just playing into the fucking system of divide and conquer. So yeah, you can sit there and fight the good fight against fucking wokeness in video games, but at the end of the day, who the fuck cares? Do you actually fucking think video games are of any fucking consequence to real life? If the answer is yes, you're a fucking bot. You're a fucking bot? who's like a slave to the fucking Matrix and are a fucking hardcore coom -sumer. You're literally a fucking coom -sumer, bro. If you think video games are of any fucking importance in the grand scheme of life, you literally need to fucking leave your house. Congratulations, you've been distracted, which is exactly what fucking media is designed to do. Keep people stupid, distracted, and not focused on the real fucking issues. So instead of looking at video games as mindless entertainment to fucking relax and have a good time with, you actually think it's something worth standing up and defending. Like, bro, most game developers are fucking hardcore leftists. Why the fuck would you expect the video games that they develop to be any fucking different than a reflection of the people making them? That's like being mad at the sky for being blue. It's just the fucking way it is. Most fucking Western studios are in California. <laughs> like... I just like, dog, you need to like actually focus on real fucking issues, bro. Go fucking grind the, like, go get a fucking side hustle, grind that shit out, make some real fucking money, and then you can actually influence the world around you. But for now, arguing on the internet about fucking politics and video games is literally a waste of your time, oxygen, and resources. Take the money you would have spent on video games and do something productive with that shit. Instead of arguing in this fucking chat, go do something. Says the dude playing a video game? 
Um, I've made two hundred and twenty-two dollars or twenty-three dollars and forty-nine cents tonight playing a video game. I'd say that's pretty productive. I would say that's pretty productive, my guy. How much have you made by sitting in the chat? Oh, wait. Chat freeze. Hold on, refresh. <sighs> Stupid fucking chat. Um, where are you? All right, there we go. Fuck, dude, it keeps freezing. Griffin is woke. That's right, man. I'm the biggest Ukraine supporter in the chat. What the fuck is going on, dude? My Chrome tabs are like glitching the fuck out right now. The stream is going wild. I don't know what's fucking wrong, man. Maybe OBS is about to crash or some shit. Susan Wabajack. Yeah, she was a better CEO, bro. Do you know what runs our world, dude? It's not politics. It's called fucking money. And until you have the money to buy politicians, you're wasting your fucking effort. If you actually want to enact political change in the world, go make a fuck ton of money, and then you can buy influence and actually have a fucking seat at the table. Otherwise, you're literally voting for candidates that the fucking parties put in front of you, that they handpick that are going to do exactly what they fucking want them to. So, you're literally not even playing in the same fucking division, bro. You got the fucking heavyweights way fucking above you actually calling the shots and putting the people in front of you that you vote for. You have the illusion of choice until you make enough money to actually be the ones making the decisions. A fucking Jeff Bezos type who can literally fund the entire campaign of his favorite candidate is somebody who can actually make a fucking change. You being able to vote for the person that two rich people put in front of you is not a fucking choice. It's an illusion. You're not playing in the same fucking league, my guy. You're in fucking Little League and they're in the fucking MLB. So instead of wasting your time arguing about shit that doesn't fucking matter, do something that's going to actually put you ahead and gives you that fucking seat at the table where you can actually fucking do something. You know, arguing about Movidia games is literally the fucking low IQ dog slop bullshit that they want you to fucking focus on instead of what actually matters. Bettering yourself, breaking free of your fucking, you know, obligation to work a fucking job, building wealth, owning assets, 
because they don't want people to be in the same fucking ball game as them. They don't want competition. They want dumb motherfuckers who complain about video games and Marvel movies all day who have zero fucking ambition and goals in life. So congratulations, my guy. You're fucking playing yourself in real time. Barista Craig with the two. Take this money, fam. Video games are the final stand. That's right, bro. Without video games, society has failed. Our society is doomed to failure, guys, unless we can take back our video games. Real talk. KI, how am I a liberal, bro? I'm, I'm actually kind of curious. What is your uh, definition of what uh, classifies me as a liberal? I'm, I'm very curious to know what your reasoning for that is. What makes me a fucking Obama-loving libtard, bro? I would love to know. You support Activision, a woke company. Well, dude, you're supporting YouTube, which is Google, which is one of the wokest companies on planet Earth. Okay, next. Fucking cope and seethe, bro. You don't support YouTube? You're literally using their fucking website right now, dipshit. They're harvesting your personal information to sell to advertisers. Are you fucking stupid? Do you have a fucking uh, Android or iPhone? Because you're doing the same shit there, too. Oh, do you use fucking internet service providers like Comcast or Verizon that actively donate to liberal charities and organizations? Oh, fuck, dude. Do you buy food from grocery stores? Because 99% of big food corporations also are fucking liberal and woke. Oh, wait, no, you got to stop eating now. Dude, shut the fuck up, bro. You're dumb as fuck, dog. You're a literal fucking bot. You are an absolute fucking bot, bro. Not everything is liberal. You're being ridic- All right. Well, dude, what fucking phone do you have? What fucking phone do you got, bro? Because if it runs on Android, owned by Google, you have an iPhone? Dude, Apple's woke as shit. Are you fucking kidding me? Dude, Apple literally got rid of the gun emoji because the Second Amendment should be banned. Apple added the fucking gay rights emojis before fucking Google did. They added same-sex couples. Like, bro, Apple is literally one of the wokest tech companies out there, dude. Shut the fuck up. I know you're not throwing stones in your fucking glass house, my guy. Oh my god. This shit's fucking funny, man. <sighs> Let's see. Weaponized schizophrenia with the two chaff rows because I called him the British cigar. Uh oh, dude. Don't use hurtful slurs. That's right. Oh, wait, not racist. That's a uh, homophobic. You're a Democrat. Yeah, I am, bro. 100%. Let's go, Brandon. I agree. Uh, I saw there with the five. End it before two-minute limit or end it well before the copyright issue. It's all good. Yep, we can check it out, man. And we're meshed with the two. Yo, Griff, can I get a... Oh, absolutely, man. Bruh. 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 Bruh.
Never go full DSP energy? Mm, I don't know, bro. I think everybody needs to... Open your wallets and give me all of your monies! I'm gonna become a professional positive content creator. Dude, I have a Hillary Clinton body pillow that, you know, you wouldn't be able to tell it's a Hillary Clinton body pillow because apparently cum stains have a bleaching effect and now it's completely white. All the color is gone. Yo, K.I., I have a message for you, dude. You fucking cock! I know that's one of your favorite words, you right-wing asshole. Say, come on, cock! Ask real fucking questions, cock! And don't be a fucking pussy, because you're a bigoted asshole, too! I Fuck think you! <laughs> Bro, that's actually fitting! Hell yeah, dude! Uh, Lord Podhead Investor with the 20. I have a video recommendation. Call of Duty isn't for the weak. Yep, we can check it out, man. Apparently, it's also not for the right wing, right? Uh, it's only for liberals like me. Because when I think of liberals, I think of first person shooters. And a game that sells more kids on guns than fucking commercials. Oh my god, bro. Or, you know, Call of Duty, the company that supports U.S. veterans that are so-called fucking, uh, you know, war criminals by fucking libtards. But hey, you know, Call of Duty and Activision are the wokest company on planet Earth. Yeah, bro, literal imperial scum, bruh. KI, what games do you play then, bro? What games are you playing? I don't know how people watch you. Well, you're sitting here right now watching me, so... Uh, hopefully you got a mirror. I saw there with a five. I highly recommend that video I sent. It's on Netflix. Great, dumb, fun action. Yeah, we can check out the video, man. No worries. You like Halo? Dude. Microsoft is more woke than Activision, my guy. Microsoft is literally the wokest company in gaming. They literally have fucking Pride merch. <laughs> they had a BLM fucking calling card in Halo just this past year that they uh, named Bonobo, but you know, accidents happen. I mean, shit, man, they had a literal diversity hire as the fucking head of the Halo studio and tanked the fucking franchise, so... I mean, anything's woke if you want to look hard enough, my dude. Anything is fucking woke if you want to look hard enough. At the end of the day, man, it's a fucking video game. It's meant to be played to have fun. It really ain't that deep. You're not waging some culture war. You're not fucking taking a stand. You're not making any sort of lasting impact. You're literally just like going, yeah, I'm not gonna play a game I enjoy because of my politics. Like, okay, that's fine. You don't have to, but I don't understand why you're wasting your time arguing over it.
We have Hitler in the chat? Uh-oh. You can change my whole life? Well, all the fucking Nazis died, bro. I don't want to join your army. You all lost. Plus, your meth addiction kind of got you a little crazy, my guy. Griffin is acting like a liberal libtard. That's right, man. Eat the rich, Black Lives Matter, uh, stand with Ukraine, trans voices are valid, silence is violence, love trumps hate, um, love is love, age is but a number. <laughs> Bro, what else, what else is the other, uh, fucking, uh, liberal catchphrases, man? Eat the rich. Um, <laughs> fuck, what else do we got? Well, I think the leftists are kind of divided on supporting Israel, right? Because then they're like, oh my God, they're declaring war against Palestine. So I think they're like divided on that one, man. Like, they're afraid of being called anti-Semitic, but at the same time, you know, they don't want to support Israel because they're waging an unjust war on stolen land. Like, bruh. I can't this shit. Bro, you're not gonna get banned, my guy. I don't fucking ban people. Like, this isn't fucking Pussies R Us, dude. You literally will only get banned if you're, like, spamming the N-word or some shit like that. I don't fucking ban people for disagreeing. That's fucking retarded. Spamming the N-word? Griffin, that's left-wing, bro. I know. But unfortunately, I'm on a left-wing platform. That will ban me if I don't moderate my chat, unfortunately. Because, you know, gotta exist in that current climate, right? How come Hitler is still here? Because he's a historical figure, man. This is art student Hitler, not fucking Nazi leader Hitler, obviously. This is a prospective art student Hitler, not um gas six million people Hitler. Duh. I saw there with the five. I worded that wrong in your own time. Watch them. Okay, gotcha. It's called extraction. It's fire. Yeah, I can add it to my list, bro. I'm always looking for new shit to watch on Netflix because that's what I watch when I'm at the gym. 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure Hitler was gay. There's like been a bunch of people that did like speech analysis on him and most people agree that by German standards, he's a massive flaming homosexual. I mean, he's just the typical art student, right? And they like to experiment a little bit. <laughs> Hitler was a vegetarian. He was eating eggplants 24-7, bro. From both ends. I bet you voted for Biden. That's right, man. Let's go, Brandon. I agree. Yeah. Sleepy Joe is my favorite president of all time, guys. He's done so much to help our country. Like, record-breaking inflation. <laughs> Spending money like it's fucking Chuck E. Cheese tokens. Um, Falling off his bike. Giving all of our money to fucking Ukraine. Yeah, I love Biden, man. Great guy. Dude, Jeffrey, we're cool, man. As long as you drop me that list in the DMs, you know, you can stay as long as you want. Exactly what have you done recently for the black race? Dog, I haven't done anything for any race. Everybody else can get fucked, bro. I'm in the shit for me. My DMs are closed? Shit, I gotta fix that. Here's a God's honest question for you, bro. When's the last time you had fun, dude? Like, when's the last time you did something truly fun? You walked your dog? I mean, I guess that's kind of fun. Making money is fun? I agree, bro. I saw her. Did I read your two dollar one? I'm keeping it a stack. It's copyright, no doubt. No, oh, it shouldn't matter. It should be okay. If not, if I double dipped, I double dipped. But Jeffrey Epstein supports Pride. That's right, man. You know he was the plug, whether you wanted a young boy or girl. You know Jeffrey Epstein is a lot more fucking accepting than a lot of these fucking bigots. I'm just gonna say it, since you're talking shit about me with your big fucking ugly mouth, you're all hateful fucking racist bigots. Fuck you and fuck your fucking <laughs> podcast. Oh either either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Soul Invictus with the two months, money makes the world go round. Uh, I 
think, yeah, that one's still busted, man. I cannot push that one. But I can do something like... Whoa! Welcome to the real world! There we go. Weaponized Schizophrenia with a 2. Thoughts on owning a vending machine. If you can get it placed in a good location and figure out what people are wanting to buy in that area, then it can be very profitable. It'll pay for itself very quickly. Dude, Jeffrey Epstein was an ally. You can make the argument that three inches is actually big. Well, dude, most of the nerve endings found in the woman's vagina are in the first one to two inches. So theoretically, your three inch penis is more than enough to satisfy a woman scientifically, on average at least. Therefore, the extra inch is more than overcompensating for the necessary sexual desires of the average woman. In fact, most women are not even brought to orgasm by penetration alone. It more so matters what you do with your hands and tongue during oral sex. Therefore, the length of the penis in many cases is completely irrelevant. Ben, it makes sense why you don't know what a WAP is, bro. Because you have never turned on a woman. Bruh. Sorry. But it's the truth, bro. Keep your head up, king. Fucking suck dicks in an Olive Garden bathroom.
You fucking cuck. I know that's one of your favorite words, you right-wing asshole. Say, come on, cuck. Ask real fucking questions, cuck. And don't be a fucking pussy because you're a bigoted asshole too. I Fuck think you. <laughs> <gasps> Bruh. Jesus Christ, man. This shit's fucking wild. That is Rich from Review Tech USA. This is Rich from Review Tech USA signing out. Have a good one. Dare I say it, hateful cunt. Did you see the Keemstar, RTU, and quartering drama? I did not. What happened? The usual? Calling people cucks and hateful fucking racist bigots? Well, I mean, technically he's signing out from his mother's house, but not in the basement. Uh, Lord Pothead Investor with the 10. Griffin thinking about buying a vape vending machine for 4K. I'm thinking about putting outside my Walmart. Do you think that would be a problem? Well, I mean, I think you need to be 21 to buy vape products. So how would you uh, have age confirmation? So I think you'd run into legal issues there. Not to mention, unless you have approval from Walmart to actually put it outside, then you can't do that. So you would first need to check into the legality of selling vape products in a vending machine in your state. And then you would also need to figure out if you could even put it outside of the Walmart in the first place. Yeah, I know you're 25, but there's no way to verify the age of the person putting in 10 bucks to get a fucking vape pen. That's what I'm saying. You can't sell vape products to kids, so you would need some way to verify people's age in order to vend the shit. Bro, I've never had to scan an ID to buy lottery tickets at a fucking grocery store. Now that I think about it, shit. I used to buy scratchers when I was like fucking 10. All the time. I used to put in like five bucks.
after this uh, match, we'll do videos. We'll start off with the, uh, I guess, Melanie Mac video with uh, Review Tech USA. And then maybe we'll pull up uh, Knitter and see what's going on over there. I can't say it. Oh, dude. It's N I T T E R, so it's safe, bro. It's like knitting. You know? It's alright, bro. It's like saying someone who knits. Knit. Tur. Oh, I can say knitta? Okay. Sorry. Unfortunately, Guts, you can't on YouTube anymore. They have that specifically listed as like one of the no-no words. Kinda sucks. It's pretty unfortunate. Honestly, I don't have a single problem with that word. Like, I used to use that word so fucking, like, just freely as a child. Like, it was literally like calling someone a bitch or a pussy. Like, nobody actually fucking gave a shit about that word. But, unfortunately, social media platforms do. Uh-oh. Dream machine broke. Which word do I think will go next? Um, probably not retard. I don't think they can actually ban that. Retard is like so fucking ingrained. Um. Trying to think, what would be a good one to go next? Cuck? Nah, I don't think it'd be cuck. Maybe simp, bro. Tranny? I think they already tried to ban that. Well, I mean, I guess it's technically not banned yet, but yeah, that's probably a good guess. Tranny. Or what's the other thing people call them? Like troons or whatever? That'll probably be one. Yeah, tranny and like troon will probably be the ones that go next. Optimus Prime. <laughs> Autobots, chop off your cocks. Yo, Bobby, I'm waiting for that Activision sponsorship, my guy. Pull up, dog. do trans people not have like they're literally immune from all fucking criticism and you know mockery and everything dude they have more fucking rights than a normal person does like it's pretty fucking wild tranny claws yeah that shit was funny
Yeah, the right to optional surgery. That's purely cosmetic. True. They need that right, guys. Just like I deserve the right to have a penis implant. And uh, TRT, bro. So I can get fucking swole. It's like, honestly, I really don't give a fuck what people want to do in their own private lives, but I don't want to fucking pay for that shit. Just like, I don't give a fuck if a motherfucker wants to get fucking, you know, coked out of their mind to the point where they literally become a fucking vegetable. I just don't want to fucking pay for their addiction or rehab or rehabilitation or whatever the fuck. Like, you know... If you want to do whatever the fuck you want to do to your body, I don't give a fuck, dude. But I just don't want to pay for that shit. And I don't want my tax money going towards it. So if some dipshit wants to fucking shoot heroin all fucking day and then OD is like good fucking riddance, man. Oh, I agree. We should have a fat tax, man. Anybody over like 250 should have to pay an extra 5% of their income. 100%, man. Raise their income tax percentage by 5%. Yeah, basically any guy over 250 or any girl uh, 200 and up, <clears throat> Brit, uh, should have to pay an extra 5% in tax. I think that would be a great motivator for people to get off their fucking ass and lose weight. Losing weight is easy, man. I didn't. That, dude, I did it, and that shit was fucking simple. There's nothing hard about it. It's just people have no fucking self-control is the problem. the fuck huge youtubers are quitting oh no who cares uh anyway so let's see what this drama is with uh review tech usa this one so twitter banned me buckle up you guys i'm going boom today i'm not playing around today 
So, oh shit. Mask off, you know, bro. I got locked out of Twitter yesterday. All right, I'm gonna. But uh, this is actually a much bigger this video's thing quiet as fuck. than that, uh, and it's not even a surprise. Tell me how the volume is, guys, because I can't hear it from your end. But I did crank the volume up quite a bit. I didn't come on here to apologize. I didn't come on here to explain myself. I didn't come on here for any of that. I came on here to just tell it like it is and share the nature. Of social media All right, right cool. now it's good to share Wait. what's going on the state of society in the united states of america yo guys i'm gonna have to um respectfully ask you guys to back off bro this is i siler's uh lady here he tipped his fedora in her direction first guys so i'm gonna have to ask everyone to take a step back you know, wipe the drool off your troglodyte chin. And, yeah. Hey, man. Leave her alone. Oh, uh, speaking of which, I saw that with the two Griffin be nice to my woman. Well, dude, there you go. I was very nice. Daryl's on with the two Griffin's future wife I can't there. Mm, this probably not. Well, we're supposed to be free. I saw that with the two. You'd be nice. Bro, I'm I'm being nothing but positive. Free. I also don't give a crap. <laughs> I don't give a crap. Okay? So right now, let me just fill you in on what happened, and then I will tell you... <laughs> I will tell you the explosion that this caused. That I have no regrets. I'd do it again tomorrow so this is a screenshot of the tweet in question which i'm censoring it because youtube you know but it wasn't censored I when i tweeted it <laughs> so <laughs> here we have review tech usa getting mad over it even though there's video of him saying this word but alas hypocrites will hypocrite so this was a funny this was a bro <laughs> <laughs> You fucking cock! I know that's one of your favorite words, you right-wing asshole! Say, come on, cock! Ask real fucking questions, cock! And don't be a fucking pussy, because you're a bigoted asshole, too! I Fuck you! The ear rape was necessary, guys. Because it amplifies the fucking rage. Like, he literally has to use the same generic fucking insults every single time, man. Dare I say it, hateful cunt! Okay, this was a tweet that said XQC got famous for calling someone a fat. Five years later, he's just signed the biggest deal in streaming history for $100 million. So I see this tweet and it's like, I immediately busted out laughing because I just, I was like, oh my gosh, like I got the funniest joke for this. So I quote tweeted it and I said, And trust me when I say this, <laughs> I have people worried about me. I have, I have friends in my DMs worried about me and trying to give me advice right now. I don't care. YOLO. I do what I want to do. And I appreciate the kind gestures. I appreciate the advice. But I'm going to do what I want to do. And don't believe for a second that I don't know the possible repercussions of this. I do know. As, as this moment, as I speak, I may lose my sponsors. <laughs> my spo I have one sponsor trying to talk to me, which I will address in a, at another time. Um, I'm not going to mention this sponsor. I'm just going to say if I lose my sponsors or whatever, it is what it is. Don't get mad at them. I'm not going to make some big debacle, like some big fuss over it. Because you don't think for a second I knew when I tweeted that that I could lose my sponsors. <laughs> Oh, I knew. But I'm going to do what I want to do anyway. And so, yeah, <laughs> I may be one sponsor less after today. And the haters might think they won. I don't care. You know what would make the haters win? Is shutting me up. Making me be silent. That would make the haters win. Not losing a sponsor. I ain't gonna shut up. 
I didn't make this go boom channel. I haven't been outspoken. I haven't been. Yeah, I know she has a G Fuel sponsorship, but I don't think G Fuel is very woke, bro. Honestly, I can't afford I'm pretty sure like the thing is, is the founder of G Fuel is literally a fucking gym, bro. So I don't know how fucking woke they are, bro, but there's other companies. I don't know who she's sponsored by, so I have no fucking idea. So there's G Fuel and Meta PC. I have no idea which one is the one that's going to drop her. If I had to guess between the two, I would say it's probably G Fuel, but no idea. Doing all the things that I've been doing just to be... Because G Fuel's not a woke company at all, man. Like, the founder of fucking G Fuel... Like, I've seen him on Twitter and social media being like, yeah, everybody's just a fucking pussy-ass bitch these days. People need to get the fuck over them. So, like, the dude does not give a fuck about, like, you know, towing the line, I guess you can say. So, like, literally, G Fuel was started by a company called Gamma Labs, which Gamma Labs was a fucking gym bro supplement company. And they basically pivoted to G Fuel because their gaming line was way more popular than the weightlifting shit. So that's how G Fuel was founded. So it's not like some fucking woke ass shit, bro. Like, woke motherfuckers aren't exactly the type of people you find in the gym. They're, you know, at McDonald's sewing out. I don't fucking know. A coward. To where I can't even tweet a joke. Now, some people might look at this. I mean, anyone with two brain cells that they can rub together can see that there was nothing malicious about this tweet. It was a joke. And I thought it was a funny joke. <laughs> and I said it because I wanted to. I am an American, and I will say what I want to say. I knew I was risking it all. I knew I was risking my entire platform that I spent over a decade cultivating. I knew exactly what I was doing when I tweeted this. But I don't care. Because you ain't going to shut me up. And some people might be like, oh, pick your battles type thing. Like, was this really worth it? Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Because I'm not going to have people control me and tell me I can't make a joke. It's the principle of it all. You ain't my dad. And you didn't put no ring on my finger. You ain't gonna tell me what to do. So if I wanna tweet a joke, I will tweet a dadgum joke. If I lose sponsors, I lose sponsors. But one thing I won't be is quiet. You can try to deplatform me. You can try to get me off the internet. I'll find another platform. Yo, I wonder if quartering is gonna hook her up with a uh, coffee brand coffee uh, sponsorship, man. I'll do it. Which oh, I, so she didn't get banned. She's out. I have backups, even for this video, on Rumble. If you guys want to follow me there, just in case YouTube craps the bed, as they usually do for a lot of people. But this is, this is, I was trending yesterday, trending today on the trending tab, which I don't see it at this moment, but I just did earlier. <laughs> and it's not for good reasons. It's for people who are triggered. Dude, Review Tech has literally taken, like, just the ultimate fucking blue pill, bro. Like, I just, I don't understand why he's such a hyper-politicized, like, fucking mouth breather now. Like, he's really in his fucking feelings about this tweet. Like, dude, talk about being a fucking snowflake and very mad because how dare a woman speak out of line how dare she like bro rich by this logic when you called somebody that word on your fucking stream you know no matter how many times you apologize the hurt is still there like shut i fucking hate this type of shit bro motherfuckers are so soft and I don't care who calls me a freaking feminist over this. I'm about to get my own version of feminist right now. You know, as much as I think the feminist movement is 
holding women back and stuff you know maybe there's a little bit of me that has my own version of feminism that I will stand for. And what that is, is these feminine men who are pushing us out of our spaces and who are silencing us because that's what it is. It is feminine men who are so mad. They are so mad. They cannot be us. No matter what they do, they can't. Well, yeah, dude. Fucking, I'm pretty sure uh, marijuana lowers your testosterone count, so... I'm pretty sure that's actually a true uh, thing, so it would explain a lot. Cannot be us. And they are so mad about it. And that they can't be us, then they want to control us. No, -uh, honey. Not me. So, I made this tweet because, I mean, let's call out the hypocrisy here. I said the same guys who say bitch and c like it's their entire personality dare i say it hateful cunt sure do you have a complete meltdown when a woman says because this is exactly what it is it is exactly what it is it's feminine men who lost their heads over this and it's women supporting it it is women supporting their own subjugation you call me a pick me? I ain't never seen a pick me like a woman who will give her rights away to these feminine men, who will bow down to these feminine men. Get out of here with that. Miss me with all of that. Because that is exactly what's going here. I love to see um, Ariel here. I had my back on this. She goes, where's the lie? She's a lesbian. Where's the lie? I mean, is it not true? And some people's retort is, oh, one of them's a slur and the other ones aren't. Oh, I, I wasn't aware that we have some sort of... <laughs> I, I mean, according to YouTube, cunt is on that list of uh, unspeakable words, but I don't know if they actually enforce it or not wasn't aware that we had some sort of committee that takes words and gets to choose which ones are oppressive and which ones yeah. aren't. Who makes these um, rules? The fucking bundle of sticks word, the gaming word, and cunt are like the examples of extremely harsh slurs or whatever they say that can prevent you from getting monetized, a.k.a. you'll get a strike. By the way, who, who's policing our speech? Who is choosing what words? And for the record, I don't care if they say these words. I don't care if they say I don't care if they say I don't care. They can say whatever the crap they want, but they can't tell me what I can say or don't say. And also, for the record, what I said here, which was just absolutely not directed at a single person. Yeah, it's just literally stating no the word, bro. I guess Rich now believes that words are, you know, evil on their own. Find it. It was a joke. I use the word f in my day-to-day -day life, and I have almost my entire life. I'm a 90s kid. Based. We all said that, and we I still do. Yep. But I will tell you one thing. And nobody ever directed it at gay people, dude. Saying that word was literally like calling somebody a pussy. Like, bro, the fucking South Park episode sums that shit up perfectly, bro. Like... Literally, the South Park episode on that fucking word is literally how everyone fucking used that shit. It's only because of a bunch of virtue signaling retards that it actually became associated with homosexuality for the most part. Like, nobody used it in that context 90% of the time. I don't know, dude. It's just another example of, like, the fucking word police. If I ever call someone a f that's a compliment. Because that is reserved for people I like. Like my brothers. I call them that almost every day. It's a term of endearment. <laughs> mm. For the lols. 
I have never one single time in my entire life used that word at somebody specifically. I've never called somebody that word with any malice, with any hate, with any aggression or with any derogatory intentions. I've never, ever done that. You can check all of my social media over the past, what, almost 15 years? And you will see that not only in this regard, but in general, I do not go after people. I might make little jokes like this, but do I ever attack people? Good luck, let me know if you can find it. Let me know, because that's just never been my style. I don't like to do that. Now with Purple Tinker, this brony who has these grooming accusations and all kinds of weird stuff, I did kind of go after him real hard. Uh, who got my friend fired from Limited Run Games, all that, so on and so forth. So, yeah. Yeah, well, bronies well, aren't human beings, man. Like, you can't consider a brony to actually be a person. Like, it's just a waste of oxygen. I don't even think they should be allowed to fucking vote. They should, like, honestly, man. They, I don't even think they have a right to exist. If we're being honest... The world would be better off if we purged it of all fucking bronies. Look for something else, dude. Good luck. You ain't gonna find it. And something else about this that a lot of people will try to say is it's just like, oh, because I use this, made this joke, or because I'm a Christian and I have Christian values and beliefs and I believe in the Bible, then that must mean I hate gay people. I hate this or that or this or this group. And it's like, do you hate people who smoke cigarettes? Do you hate people who drink alcohol? Do you drink, do you hate people who are fat? Because last I checked, you can think something is unhealthy that somebody does. I hate land whales. And novel concept, I know, but still love them. and not expect them to have to live according to your world. All right, let me put it this way. I hate land whales that are in denial and are constantly making excuses for why they're fucking fat. If you're fat as fuck and own it and accept it and don't make excuses, you know what? I don't fucking care. But if you're one of those fat fucks on fucking TikTok acting like, you know, you have a thyroid problem or you're genetically obese or people should have to accommodate your fucking fat. And like, yeah, no, you're not even human at that point. The view? Whoa. Really? Is this real life? I know it's really hard for the left to understand that concept, but I digress. Gay, not gay, I, whatever. There are so many friends I have, I don't approve of their lifestyles and they don't approve of mine. But that does not make me not love them. I will stand by my beliefs. And when it comes to the Bible and people will just be like, think I'm hateful because I agree with the Bible. But that's because I love the Lord. I am filled with the Holy Spirit. Whatever God says, that's fact for me. It's fact in general, but... Weaponized schizophrenia with the two. I hate N. What's wrong with the letter N, bro? I can't afford this shit! Just kidding. I hate dishonest people. Yeah, bro. What's wrong with the letter N? I don't know. You know, people will try to argue that. But you better believe... I'm not going to waver from that. And if I were making the rules, would I make homosexuality a sin? No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't make a lot of things a sin that are a sin. But I am not arrogant enough to say that my personal morality and my fleshly beliefs are even close to the remote vicinity of Galaxy Fur with the two, Griffin is just mad. He got pantsed I by a brony. Dude, those fuckers are weird. Like, anyone that wants to fuck an animal belongs one place, and that's beneath the grass. What God understands about his own creation. 
So it doesn't matter what I think. I trust God. I trust God's word. Like, dude, I don't live my life based on my feelings and based on my beliefs personally or based on what I want. Yeah, she is preaching now. It's deceptive. That will lead you astray like nothing else. Discipline. Discipline will get you far. And part of being disciplined... No, she's definitely read a page of the Bible, bro. Because, like, the last video, she was, like, quoting a bunch of fucking passages and shit. Is living your life in a way that you don't even necessarily want to completely live it like that. And that's how I live my life. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she's, like, one of... From my understanding is, like, she's one of those kind of, like... I guess born again Christians or whatever, where it's like basically it took her until later in life to like, I guess accept her faith and shit like that. I don't fucking know. So I think she got like all the tattoos and shit before kind of taking the fucking Jesus pill. If you know what I mean? I don't fucking know, man. So I think that's why. But yeah, anybody who's like bumping the Bible with the fucking shit ton of tattoos, I always just kind of laugh because it's like, dog, it literally says don't get tattoos in the fucking Bible. But, you know, hell yeah, bro. Oh, Rikinzi with the two. I personally hate families like the. Oh, no, dude, you thought. See, I thought it said bronies at first, so I stopped to read it because I was about to say bronies, but yeah, nice try. Not even close. I'm not caving into every whim that I have. I'm not making up my own belief systems. I am believing in the Bible. I am believing in God's word in the truth. And part of believing in God's word and the truth is also believing in the fact that God gave people free will. Go back to shitting on review tech. And God tells us Pull in the Bible the not to force our beliefs on other people. We are to call out sin. Make it known. Do not validate. Yeah, I don't know, bro. I don't really know if we need to sit through Bible study. Let's skip ahead a little bit. See if anything changes. Speaking of gay people, I just wanted to highlight this. Mike Harlow... I met him at, at Christy Mayer's wedding. I already, we've been following each other for a bit. But when I tell you, what an amazing per And they know my French Yes, girl. This is hilarious. I love it. Okay? Because believe it or not, not every gay guy is a misogynist. What? <laughs> and that's exactly what all this is. This yeah, I don't know, bro. I don't really... I don't really think we need a uh, preaching session. I saw there with the two. I see how it is. That's right. I can't man. afford this shit. You're living in sin. This controlling women thing, keeping us women out of our spaces, controlling our speech. That is actual misogyny. Yeah, make fun of review type, bro. Like, come on now. A lot of them are. So, I got so much support. And it's funny, even in my in the comments of things, people who I don't even know. Because, I mean, you know, it's kind of understandable when you have friends who are backing you up. My gay friends and all that. But there were gay people I don't even know who were like, this is hilarious. I thought it was a great joke. I yeah, that's because most gay people aren't a bunch of fucking pot belly chicken neck bastards on Twitter who have like a fucking permanent stick up their ass even though they're gay and they probably like it, but I don't know. Believe it or not, most gay people are not screeching retards on Twitter. <laughs> I laughed. Like shit. <laughs> Are there are gay people who are subscribed to this channel right now who have seen me preach? They have seen me preach. Yeah, that's the they thing, have bro. Seen me preaching. Like most gay people are fucking completely normal. They're not like super fucking, you know, in your face about shit. They're not always, you know, crying victim. You know, it's only the fucking special breed of fucking retards on Twitter. 
against homosexual lifestyles, okay, they're still here because they are adult human beings who can. Well, I mean, she did say at the beginning of the video that, you know, any dude that's not her husband or father has no right to order her around, so. Maybe she is living by the Bible. I have no fucking idea, man. Understand the fact that not everybody is. I'm like, this is the thing is I'm not going to be like, oh my God, bro. She's a fake Christian. Like, I, I'm not about that type of shit. Like, you know, I'm not going to sit here and like fucking, I guess, judge people's faith, quote unquote. But yeah, it is what it is. Going to have when you get really preachy like this, though, you do open yourself up to people pointing out a lot of inconsistencies. Of the same worldview, and that just because you don't approve of something does not mean that you hate people who are involved in whatever that is. Okay? Now, do I understand if gay people unfollow me or don't want to follow me? Yeah, sure. They might not want to hear this stuff. That's fine. I understand. But you ain't going to tell me that I hate them or anyone because that is a lie. <laughs> so in conclusion to all this, there's definitely certain <laughs> people I hate, bro. I, I, the, the, the Melanie Mac who was brand friendly, who was kept myself under a filter, who didn't share my, thoughts on things because I was scared to offend and I just was that good girl who stayed in line. I got to do, I got to travel the world and host stuff for game companies and stuff. I got to be that brand friendly girl that just does what she's told. She's gone. She's gone. Love her, but she's gone. Because society has just gotten to a point where you can't even make a joke on the internet. And I will be using my voice no matter who's offended, no matter what sponsors I lose. And like I said, high probability I'm going to lose a sponsor over this. And I have no regrets. And I would do it again. There are two things the mob cannot take from me. You can't take away Jesus Christ because he's right here in my heart. And you can't take away my family. They have been there for me through my worst times. I'm telling you. I can't you, afford this shit! They have been there for me always. Even when I was, wasn't always in line. <laughs> Even when I was acting wrong. They're there. So you can try to take anything else you want from me. You can try to deplatform me. You can try to take away my sponsors, try to do this, that, and the other, take away my monetization. Go for it. Try. I don't see try. so what the fuck is the uh, drama with the quartering, bro? Where the fuck is the drama with the quartering? And fucking uh review tech because I checked his Twitter and I can't fucking find anything at least from today or yesterday Waterboy the two leafy is watching all your videos again oh dude am I getting roasted unfortunate go ahead but you ain't taking away what's important to me and you certainly ain't taking away my voice so now that I got that out of the way. <laughs> I saw her with the two. Her left sleeve is sexy. <laughs> Bruh. Waterboy with the two. Uh, you just retracted it in real time. I think you sent it twice. You know. Give me monies! <laughs> Thank you all so much for hanging out with me today. Oh, I've got some shit. stuff I've got to talk about uh, and get to. And again... No regrets. No regrets. Thank you all so much for everybody who's been there for me. Bo Blacks. Oh, God. Like, you guys are the realists, man. This is an actual... And, 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 you know, I don't care who thinks it sounds dramatic, but we are in a culture war. It's real. <laughs> she does kind of look and like I a COD operator. What the fuck, quiet. dude?
I am not going to sit back and watch people take our rights away, our voice away. Oops. I'm not going to do it. Ban me wherever you want to ban me. <laughs> Whoops. All right, so I guess we can watch that. Ah, oh, dude. Well, so over the past couple of years, the was this it? Yeah, 13. YouTubers The Quartering and Review Tech USA have been beefing back and forth a lot on Twitter, which of course has now resulted in a boxing match being set up between the two by Keemstar. But the chances of this boxing match actually... Oh yeah, I do need to turn down the volume. Oops. My bad. Um... Let's see. Really ...happening might be in jeopardy now due to information leaking regarding... Dude, I wish that, bro, what the fuck is that, bro? That's fucking great. Guarding Sam Hyde's involvement in training the cornering <laughs> for this boxing match, bro. which would make this the second time drama has occurred due to Sam helping someone train for their boxing match, with the first one being, of course, Froggy. What's wrong with him helping train someone? Like, is Sam Hyde, like, fucking Jesus himself and can fucking give people God-tier boxing abilities? Fresh, which I just find to be a bit humorous, but this all started when Review Tech USA tweeted out, Well, apparently <laughs> the quartering is training with Sam Hyde. Not that it matters because Keem wanted Bro, the why don't you read his actual uh, Twitter name? Fight to happen July 8th, and there is no chance of that happening. I'm 200% in for 2024, but with what's going on in my life, July is too early. He then shares this YouTube video <laughs> clip from Sam Hyde's live stream. The quartering. Sending this from the sauna, he says, giving us oh, 25. Good lad. Thank you. Thank you, man. How's the training going? What, mine? Waterboy of the two. Lol, I believe Leafy thinks you're cool now. Thank God, man. I'm not going to kill myself tonight. No, for uh, so, quartering. Well, that was a secret, but now it's not. We can edit that out, though. Don't worry. Noah McCarthy. <laughs> Thank you for joining Severe Beast. Hey guys, if you're just catching back up, the last 15 seconds didn't happen. <laughs> I can't afford it! The quartering response to Review Tech USA with eyes emoji. Kyle responds to Review Tech USA by saying, This fight is never going to happen. The exactly. Dude, it's because Review Tech probably hasn't trained at all. And now, like, fucking, he finds out quartering's actually training, so, you know. I don't fucking know, bro. Lord Pothead Investor with the 10, I was watching one of Camelot 331 streams, and he mentioned a YouTuber who spams the applause and that he is kind of an L. Rich's friends are getting fed up with. Oh, dude, that's because fucking Rich threw Camelot under the fucking bus over this whole Melanie Mac shit. Like, Rich went after Camelot and fucking side scrollers for just having her on their fucking podcast, dude. Like, he literally was like trying to do the fucking guilt by association bullshit. No. Rich is turning into a complete fucking political grifter at this point. And he's throwing people under the bus who slightly fucking disagree with him for fucking easy woke points on Twitter, man. It's fucking sad. Quartering responds, bro, I've been training every day, built a home gym up, flew out to spar with some coaches, choking down protein shakes, working cardio, landmines, lifting. Don't spin any of that negativity on me. Keemstar responds to Review Tech USA by saying, you said October, now you are changing it to 2024? The quote tweets <laughs> and says, yes, Keemstar, I still got a kid at the hospital, and I didn't think it was going to be this long. Also, I'm going to get sponsors, medical clearance, etc. I'm going to leave with some kind of bag for this laughing my ass off. Smoky Complex responds to Keem by saying, a delayed fight is eventually good. A rushed fight is bad forever. Oh shit, dude. A certified Reddit moment. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Yeah. Hang yourself from the fucking ceiling fan. Review Tech USA quote tweets them and says, Thank you. This. I'm absolutely positive as well that the quartering wants this extra time too, laughing my ass off. It will benefit both of us, and I'll make more money. I want this fight to be good, not two slobs swinging like gorillas. Right? We want two slobs swinging like fucking gorillas, bro. 
That's entertaining. Ryan Hart responds by saying, Oh look, Rich is buddies with the quartering now. This is never going to happen. Just like all the stuff he promised people on YouTube. Rich responds, Are you okay? To which Ryan Hart responds, I'm good, you just lie too much, man. Rich quote tweets him and says, I'd love for you to come on the show as well, Ryan. I tried to DM you, but your DMs were closed. The quartering then tweets about this when he says, Well, the cat is out of the bag. Yes, I have been training in secret for about the last two months preparing yeah, I think, bro, that's the thing, is, like, quartering, if he puts his fucking mind to shit, like, he has a good work ethic, so I could 100% see him actually, like, fucking training for this shit. Rich, I don't see it happening. Like, he's too reliant on getting high every night on stream. Preparing for a boxing match. Someone made an oopsie and let it be known I was training with Sam Hyde. By training, I mean getting punched in the head non-stop by him. Also enlisted the help of Harley Plays. And hopefully we'll still punch each other this summer. Within hours of that leaking, my opponent demand the fight be cancelled. And move to some unknown time in 2024. He does have sick kid, but that didn't stop him from making videos like this. All right, everybody, I'm spreading the breaking news <laughs> that the quartering is a giant pussy in public. So here we go. Here we go. Bruh. Hello, everybody. I have breaking news. The quartering is a giant pussy. Bruh. Or, you know, going on unhinged rants like... You fucking cuck. I know that's one of your favorite words, you right-wing asshole. Say, come on, cuck. Ask real fucking questions, cuck. And don't be a fucking pussy because you're a bigoted asshole too. I Fuck think you. Dude, he's got time to go on six hour fucking rants but not hit the gym. Like. Bruh. Thank you. That's all. The quartering continues by saying, Numerous live streams and videos about how he was prepared and I was scared. I kept my mouth shut and trained, and will continue to do so. Sparring with Sullivan MMA was challenging, exhausting. Yo, a month ago! A month ago, dude, he's calling. Oh my god. Bruh. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Dog. Sparring with Sam Hyde was terrifying. I had another trip out there planned in a few weeks, as we've been going hard getting ready for October. As it stands right now, I'll be making the trip and still getting yelled at by Sam. I've dropped about 26 pounds with a goal of getting closer to 75 lost by fight night. Being sick these past 10 days really was a roadblock. I hear my opponent's kid is sick. My thoughts go out to him and his family. Sam Hyde responds, classy man, good work ethic. Frogs Gray responds by saying, if you'd be so kind, please give us a video of your training highlights with Sam Hyde. The quartering responds, there is no footage. Well, I did do some vlogs back at the hotel. Sam was doing me a huge favor while being extremely busy and also running the fish tank. I felt like it would be disrespectful to cram a camera in his face. We would likely film some stuff down the road though. Going all the way back to the first tweet I read of Review Tech USA saying that the quartering is training <laughs> with Sam Hyde and that he wants to delay- Dude, 2026 instead the fight to 2024 sam quote tweets him and says do 2026 instead and then the quartering responds <laughs> odd long way from this no showing the video of rich that i played earlier rich quote tweets him and says not at all i'm still all in but life happens what's wrong with january of 2024 the quartering responds i sincerely am pulling for your daughter i don't know the specifics but i'm told she is sick slash in the hospital it's a pretty important thing to deal with keep us posted rich responds thank you man i appreciate that gilly responds to Rich's previous tweet by saying, I feel like with how much you were taunting him about backing out, it's because you really don't want the fight, but had to make it look you did. I don't know, man. I hope your daughter is speedy recovery, though. Rich responds, I am still 100% in. I also didn't think things would work out the way they did regarding my situation. I'll let my actions speak more than words. You'll see. Also, thank you for the well wishes. Rich then tweets out, All right, I'll admit it. I talked. That's right, man. Diabetes. I talked a lot of shit about the quartering match, and I shouldn't have until I knew where the chips were gonna lie with my situation. I'll let me action speak for me on if I'm serious. I am. But I'll take the licks I'm gonna receive on social media. I earned them, lol. And speaking of licks, Keemstar then gave- DJ Aftershock with the two, doesn't it seem that RTU despises cri- Oh, dude, that's putting it fucking lightly, man. Dare I say it, hateful cunt. Rich, a good licking when he made this Twitter video at both him and the quartering. Gentlemen, I'm getting frustrated. I'm getting very frustrated. Um, I, in good faith, tried to set up a boxing match between both of you. All right. At the beginning, it seemed like Rich publicly wanted to do a boxing match with the quartering. 
and it seemed like the quartering was yeah isn't rich the one that challenged the quartering anyway was not interested right so i started putting out tweets saying i'll host it i should fight leafy isn't leafy like 140 pounds bro <laughs> i don't know if that would be fair like i'm not trying to flex or anything but i don't know if that would be a fair fight i'll, I'll help set this up the quartering was silent night on social media so bro i would have to cut like a motherfucker when i actually spoke to the quartering to my shock and my surprise the quartering is actually down to fight i don't think right? leafy's short i think he's just like really fucking skinny so i put out a tweet saying both nobody's ducking this fight is happening i'm griffin saying he's ripped um I definitely have a lot of muscle, but I'm not like fucking shredded. If that's what you think. Working on it right now. When I spoke yeah, I need to, to cut Rich, 500 pounds. True. You had a lot of questions about the quartering. You're like, is he actually training? Does he actually want to fight? Is this fight actually going to happen? And I told you, yes, he is training. He's actually training with someone. He 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 is down. He is not ducking. This fight is going to happen. That's what I told you, Rich. And he goes, Rich goes to me training with who? I'm like, I can't tell you. And Rich goes, I already know he's training with Sam Hyde. Rich said that to me, not the other way around. All right. And Rich, what did I tell you? I said, well, look, Rich, I know you want this fight to happen. All right. The quartering told me if it gets leaked that he's training with Sam Hyde, that he's going to cancel the fight. All right. So don't leak it. Ever since we had that call, which was roughly like a month ago, I think, you've been going out saying Keemstar told me that the quartering is training with Sam Hyde. No, I fucking didn't. <laughs> not only did I not tell you, you're the one that told me. Even I, I love it, knew, bro. Right? Dude, the thing is that's great about this is both the quartering and Review Tech USA fucking hate Keemstar for fucking different reasons, man. Like, Keemstar has beef with both, like, fucking Review Tech and the quartering. So if Keem is throwing one of them under the fucking bus versus the other, like, you know it's fucking genuine because he doesn't fucking like either one of them, bro. <laughs> so Keem has no fucking reason to lie in this shit because he doesn't give a fuck about either the quartering or Review Tech USA. He fucking dislikes both of them. But on top of that, I told you... If you leak this, or this gets leaked that he's training with Sam Hyde, that he's going to pull out of the fight. And you've been uh, fucking putting it out there all the time. I just, on your stream last night, Keemstar told me that the quartering is, no, I didn't. No, I fucking didn't. And I'm, and I'm asking myself, is Rich trying to get this fight canceled by leaking this? Is he? Like, make it make sense. But Rich, you need to stop lying. I didn't tell you this. You already knew it, and you told me this. Did I confirm it? Yes, I confirmed it, because you already fucking knew, because I wanted to make it very clear, now that you know that he's training with Sam Hyde, not to leak it, because that was one of the things that the quartering told me he would drop out of the fight if that got leaked. So, I don't know. I don't know what's happening, Rich. Are you trying to get the fight canceled? I, I don't know. Quartering's pissed off at me and thinks I fucking told you when I didn't. It, it, it's really frustrating, Rich. The quartering responds to Keemstar with this picture of Sam Hyde looking at Rich's cucumber. He also says, So everyone knows, I have zero concerns with being associated with Sam Hyde. I just want to have a huge cool reveal slash transformation montage that would be a really cool surprise for my viewers. Outside of punching me in the head nonstop, Sam has been great to me, and I am thankful. Sam Hyde responds, Rich, just say you don't want to fight, man. Any other response is just weird. Get it over with. Shout out to the quartering who put real work in. Two times a day, actual box workout sparring keep the cardio and weight loss going proud of you the quarter that's right man that shit's legit good for him man bring then responds with six arm flex emojis rich responds to keemstar by saying dude what the fuck bullshit i was sitting at my desk in my office and you told me on the phone he was training with sam hyde i never said a thing until his assistant leaked it publicly on stream keemstar responds that is not true i believe keem Rich then responds. Keem doesn't have a fucking dog in this fight, bro. He hates both of them. Why the fuck would Keem lie? He doesn't like the quartering. He doesn't like Rich. 
What fucking incentive does Keem have to lie in this situation? Most to Keem Star with this Twitter video in the caption, Team Star, are you kidding me? You either have a terrible memory or you're playing a mind game to conjure up social media drama. Either way, I'm still down for the fight. See you in early 2024. Bro, he wants to delay this shit eight months? Jesus Christ, dude. Keemstar, this has to be like a mind game. Or, you know, I know- Eight fucking months? We're getting old. Look at the ha look at the gray hair of my beard. I remember clear as day, I was about to live stream. That means he already popped his edible. I was sitting at my desk in my office. And yes, we talked about the fight. Yeah, I asked questions about Jeremy, and on top of it, you told me to do a bunch of cardio. You were also the one that told me you cannot say anything about this. Who, their entire group of people can't stand me, so who would have said anything? You told me on the phone that Sam Hyde was trading the quartering, but don't say anything because if you say something, he will, it'll, he'll use it as an excuse to not fight. I never said a thing. Go check my life. Elijah Petty with the two. The quartering is tall. He would have the advantage. Well, how tall is Rich, bro? Because I don't feel like Rich is small. I don't think Rich is short. I have... N Dude, I've never fucking seen either one of them in real life. I know quartering's fucking tall. Because I've seen a picture of him. Standing next to other people. But I have no clue how fucking tall Review Tech is. I feel like he's at least, like... Probably, like, six foot. I have no idea, honestly, though. No fucking idea. Live streams. Go check my social media. I kept my lips zipped. It was Sam Hyde's assistant during a live stream when they got a super chat from the quartering while he was in his hot tub that his assistant... Yeah, Jeremy's... That dude, Jeremy's just a big fucking guy, bro. Like, he's that fucking lumberjack-looking motherfucker, bro. Sam Hyde was training the quartering. So if you have a problem with somebody, have a problem with Sam Hyde's assistant. Have a great day. Keemstar responds, that is not true. You're the one with a horrible memory. Rich responds, okay, great. Still not canceling the fight and I'm 100% down. I strongly encourage you wear on any platform anywhere that a leaked Sam Hyde was training with him. I'll pay you if you find something. Let's go laughing my ass off. If I leaked Sam Hyde was training with Jeremy for a month, why would everyone in this clip uploaded three days ago show otherwise Keemstar? Linking the clip that I showed at the beginning of this video. Rich continues by saying, I guess Keemstar Star didn't realize that video evidence existed. Oops. Hollowed Creep responds, so what happens now? To which Rich responds, I'm still down for the fight. End of discussion, laughing my ass off. And that actually was the end of the discussion because there was no response from Keemstar or anybody else. It seems like this little Twitter beef was mostly just a misunderstanding and miscommunication between all parties. Everybody wants this fight to happen, but unfortunately for Review Tech USA, his daughter is sick in the hospital and the situation is lasting longer than he anticipated. And of course, that is the most important thing out of all of this. Obviously, we all want the boxing fight to happen, but the health of a human being is obviously more important than some YouTube entertainment. So I do wish the best to Rich and his daughter for a speedy recovery, and I would encourage all of you guys to pray for his daughter, or if you weren't religious, just wish her a speedy recovery because, well, why wouldn't you? Anyways, if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more, be sure to subscribe with notifications on, and also check out any videos on the end card of dramas you may have missed but with all that being said thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in another video yeah we'll see if this ever fucking exists bro it's gonna be eight fucking months until they actually do something so i highly fucking doubt in its current state that this is gonna fucking happen like <laughs> bro eight months is what he wants to postpone it like and that's minimum. No, I guarantee you the fact that, you know, quartering is actually training is freaking him out. Because I think quartering's already, like, lighter than rich, but taller. So if quartering keeps leaning up and gaining more stamina and strength, like, yeah, that would be very bad for rich. But I don't know. I mean, I don't know if people will lose interest in eight months, but, like, the drama building up to the fight will definitely have died down.
I mean, review tech and quartering, I don't think are going anywhere in terms of popularity, at least for now. But it's like, dude, <laughs> eight months is like three years internet time. Like eight months might as well be like two fucking years if you're talking about internet drama. Like people are going to fucking move on by that point. I don't know. But. Yeah, I mean, people will always be interested because they both have followings, but I don't think, uh, you know, there's going to be, like, this outside hype anymore. Let's see. Hold on, let me see. I'm going through to see if we have recommend. I think we have one. But I'm just making sure. Yeah, because JBT, we did yours. So this shit. All right, let me see how long. Okay. If it's a Netflix thing, it may get quickly. But we'll see how long it lasts. Oh, it's Thor. <laughs> the average day in Chicago, pretty much, man. Just another fucking Sunday afternoon. <laughs> Galaxy Fur with the two, Rich will have a new convenient excuse in eight months. I mean, that's the thing, though, is the longer he kicks the can down the road, the longer he's going to put off getting in shape, hitting the gym, training, all that type of shit. I don't know, man. Yo, this reminds me of that one fucking scene at the end of uh, Gears of War. When you're about to fight General Rom, bro. What the fuck? Bro, he took two shots to the fucking chest? Or three? Even if you're wearing Kevlar, that's going to put you on the fucking ground, bro. Especially right up on the fucking sternum. That shit would crack your fucking bones. Yeah, dude, Kevlar will stop a bullet from penetrating you, but that shit will fucking crack your ribs. His sternum would have been completely fucking shattered. He would have been on the fucking ground, man. He probably would have had bone fragments in his fucking lungs, too. <laughs> All right, I'm getting the warning. I'm getting the warning. All right, so what's the shit? Um, copy. 
So, pot investor, this is for you. This one. You're gonna face Toronto next, bitch. You ain't gonna do nothing. You're gonna go negative like you've been going, bitch. <laughs> what so the good. fuck? You showed up for the first time in your career. Yo, Hunter TV, get a fucking life, dude. What you just saw is a small inside look of competitive Call of Duty. Previously, I've hit max rank in competitive Fortnite, Rainbow Six Siege, and Destiny. I have over 8,000 hours across every Call of Duty combined, so I hit max rank in ranked model for two with no problem. But the experience I had playing is something you can't find elsewhere. Seven, nice walls, seven, nice walls, nice sure, walls. Sure, King, whatever you want, whatever you want, King, whatever you want. Homie, we're watching it's, it's called call outs. It's called call outs. It's called call outs. It's called my team. It's called call out. Not only that, you get a unique <laughs> skin based on which rank you achieve to show other players you are better than them. Brain Yo, a fucking gorilla one. Not only that, you get a unique skin based. Bro, the gorilla. Sh okay, it's number two, but still, it should have been number one. So which rank you achieve to show other players you are better than them. Raid play is a fair playing field, so that means weapons like shotguns are banned. Really, a shotgun? Juggernauts. <laughs> And a lot more. Ranked play is designed so you can play like the pros. I created perfectly optimized loadouts based on what the pros are using to make sure I compete at the highest level possible. There are two primary weapons that dominate. The first weapon is the fastest 9k SMG. This weapon is the best for fast paced close quarter I don't quarter fucking combat. use the that shit. This weapon is the 56 assault rifle. This weapon that is gun's pretty good. Quarter, but it really shines in medium and long range gunfights. Dude, what? It is also fantastic for wall banging players, which is a huge deal. No way, bro. Oh, just wall bang. Yeah, this dude would have been better. That's cheap, man. I don't like this. You're cheap. That's right. Oh, my goodness. Nah, bro. I prefer my secondary to be the knife. Your overall movement is faster, which is good for rotating to objective, whether it's to capture a hard point, rush into a bomb site, or taking control points. It's also good for making clutch plays and close quarter objectives. Hunter, you fing dog sh Get off of this game for 2.5, kid. Get a job. I can't <laughs> all the way over here. The best tactical is stun grenades because your enemies are disabled from moving or turning for a couple job. seconds, which gives you a huge advantage in one-on-one -on -one fights. For my lethal, I prefer frag grenades to get easy elimination. If that was DSP, he'd be like, I have a job, moron. I mean, oh meaningful content on the yeah. internet. Who needs that? Yeah, this guy's hacking, bro. These are the perks you want to run. Lastly is your field upgrade. For game modes like Control and Hardpoint, you want to use trophy systems because lots of lethals and tacticals get thrown at objectives and the trophy system will block it. The trophy system can also stop cruise missiles. Dead Silence is mainly great for making plays and pushing enemies. No, bro. I would have snaked oh, this little oh shit too. Having good teammates is a huge part of winning. You need teammates with at least these three attributes. They understand what weapons to use. Take that fucking gun off now. Go pull out a fucking scar now. You need me to give you a class? Sorry, I'm sorry. Put on a scar now. Put on a scar now. Put on a scar now. Yes, yes, I got you. God damn. Okay, put on a scar. Put on Tundra Pro Tundra Tundra Pro Barrel. Commando foregrip. Clean shot demo grip. Cardinal stock and high velo. Now. Bro. Hey guys, close game. When I used to play fucking uh game battles on fucking mlg.tv back in the day um <laughs> yeah i used to talk like this hey bro i'm glad i'm playing with a guy who has two kills i'm begging that i never fucking play with you again hey man money was on the line to be fair I'm hoping, praying to God, that every game I play today is against you. They can remain calm and collective in high stressful situations. Dude, you're gonna be real surprised when I go in there and fucking pub stop these kids. I'm definitely gonna stomp. Five hours later. He's out there again. What the fuck? Hold on, I'm gonna lose my fucking cool real quick. I wanna kill him. Oh I'm shit. Kill my Mask I'm off. This is not it. Dude, I am so fucking. I'm so frustrated right now. They can communicate well. Back truck, back truck. Oh, he got me back truck. Hello, Roger, help me. Avoid teammates that call the enemy one shot when they aren't one shot. One shot, one shot. I got this kid's one fucking shot. One shot, one shot, one. One fucking shot! Map knowledge is a huge factor to winning. I learned this heavily from Warzone 1. Bro, where the fuck is this kid at? <laughs> Learning angles, hiding spots, jump spots, and more are super important. I'm still that person? No, I don't give a fuck about professional gaming anymore, guys. That ship has sailed. I hit like the fucking max like ranked level in advanced warfare and I hung up my hat while I was still ahead. In the pros. Because once you have this lane locked down, no one can really get through this side of the map. It's laying down. What the f Or just playing the game and dying to players in high level spots. Well, what the f Dude. That's a cheeky little spot right there. 
a cheeky little oh, spot bro, right what there. The oh yeah, what? dog. Oh, Shit, real cake though. Time when you play, your brain will naturally adapt to the hundreds of spots to outplay your opponent. Go outside, One good game. <laughs> Go outside, oh, yeah. bro. Get a job, oh, get a life. Nothing in the way. He's on mid Dude, I'm banning. This guy's a puppy. Why are you over here, dude? Alright. Oh, he's on a weird spot. Weird spot. How? Oh, what a pussy. Why is he behind me? Oh, what the? That's a. Behind me? He's in the corner. Where? After getting enough knowledge of competitive, it was time to step into range and dominate to reach air descent in Modern Warfare 2. Okay, what the fuck, man? There's one up top! No! How? How? That did not just happen. How you get around me so fast, motherfucker, do that animation? Talk about some. I don't know, dude. Wow. I need what fucking drugs they're taking. Yeah, I was just about to say. I'm Silver Wolf, baby! Let's go! Hell yeah, dude. Fuck! Bro, what? More eyes, so. This guy try harder, please? I'm not having fun. Bro, can you guys do anything mid? <laughs> got him, got him. Can I just back off from my teammate? Fucking shit, teammates. Yo, honestly, you guys, you two, yeah, you guys should just go fucking play an FFA or something. You guys are shit. Let me oh, yeah, well, you should go back to the. Play a sad song for you on the world's smallest violin. Let's go, Gold One! Dude, this counter keeps a. Holy shit. I just spawned in, bro. Hunter TV need to go down. Hey, Hunter, you're shit, bro. You're two and four, bro. Talk shit when you win. I'm gonna shit, win. Shit. Man, watch this. Yeah, go back to public match, bro. This is not your game. You got lucky. You got lucky. Platinum one. Bro, the time. Oh, you're just him. Oh, oh my god. god. I'm broke. Come on. Let's go. Calm down. I can like a fucking MOG tournament. Bro. What? You're an actual fucking demon hunter. I'm diamond one, baby. Oh my god. Nice. Oh, oh my god. god. All right. Boys, is sweaty. Hunter's clearly a try hard. I'm a crimson one, baby! I guess I should try out the MP5, bro. I used it only to get the fucking camo, and that was it, but I guess it's the new meta weapon, bro. Oh my god. Yo, Hell Hunter, yeah. Good shit. Nice hold. I just fucking save those. Oh my god. I choked. Seems like it's oh pretty God. solid, honestly. Y'all are trying so damn hard. Uh, nice. What the? Let's go. Please tell me I'm in here, Destin. Please. Oh my God! Ah! Oh that shit looks like an MP5. Is it not an MP5? I haven't gone outside in so long. <laughs> to compete at the highest level possible, you need the best gaming setup. I use the 250 ohm Barrel Dynamic DT1770 Pro Studio headphones. These headphones precisely let me hear where an enemy is at, which allows me to react better and faster. Can I bang you wall bang you like, bang you like that? Yo, Hunter, are you hacking, big dog? Is this an ad? You know I was right here. No, I'm right there. How did you know I was there? Confirming next hard point. The Vaz. Oh, that's just the AK fucking, uh, whatever the fuck, MP5, right? It still looks like an MP5. Point. 
Yeah, fucking right. Dude. It's like the fucking Russian that MP5, right? Game. I'm, rep I'm reporting hey, this kid. No, I'm reporting it. Who? You. Because you cheat. Cheat and lie. Oh, no, okay, now that, now, hold on. Nah, that motherfucker's straight up fucking hacking. I don't give a fuck. You, dude, Hunter? Bro. Your hack literally uh, showed up in Kill Camp. You're using aimbots and walls. That's all you do in your just... life is lie, don't you? Huh? <laughs> You're a liar and a fucking Cheater. For controllers, I use the You're Xbox a liar! Too. I have the trigger stoppers all the way up so I can quickly and precisely start and stop shooting my weapon. I play with my controller wired to my PC. Motherfucker got Walt Jr. in this comp game. I use three paddles on the back of my controller. This one is for sprinting so my thumb isn't getting tired from running around and double sprinting all day. This one is used to throw lethals without having to press my bumper. Oh! Both on me, Aiden, both on me. Oh! The same goes for this one, but for my tacticals instead. I use a high stick on my left thumbstick for precise movement. I use a normal thumbstick with the control freak on my right stick for the best aim. Yeah, possible. bro, control freaks are goaded. Hey, Tell me we're in a fucking hacker lobby again. Wow, way to fucking cheat. There's no fucking way, bro. Get the fuck out of here. What the? Ugh. Oh. Turn your aimbot off, bro. I recently purchased arguably the best gaming monitor on the market right now. The 27-inch 1440p 0.03 millisecond response time 240 hertz OLED Jesus. Ultra Gear gaming monitor. The selling point of this monitor is the 0.03 millisecond response time. This monitor is literally designed for competitive gaming. I had a tech guru optimize my PC in Modern Warfare 2 so I could get the most frames possible. Anti-aliasing quality. Now, this is something you should trade off for FPS because this could affect your FPS like a lot. You are going to turn vertical sync off because you want just like the lowest latency possible you want to be able to see your opponent first i'm getting shot before i even turn corners here's the frame rate before and after optimizing my pc the graphics definitely looked worse but i had to do this to achieve the highest rank in ranked play hitting air desa in ranked wasn't the only part of competitive call of duty i participated in i'm here today in arlington texas for the call of duty league optic major 3 event where players are competing for five hundred thousand dollars and the atmosphere you get here is something you'll see nowhere else we're here, baby. We're here. We've been looking a little rocky, but we're back, man. Oh, I don't even know what to say, man. The fans here are super dedicated. Bruh. The optic logo tattooed. Fans are getting haircuts, <laughs> their team's logos on their head. Others are actually dressing up as the team skins in Modern Warfare 2. This guy has a shicey on just in case it's off pull up to the Call of Duty event. Ultra's next, baby. Let's run this shit. Oh! People are getting beer trips. <laughs> oh, bro. their shoes off to compete. We got you know that room smells like mats, fucking cheese, bro. Drink out of. They're drinking Bud Light. Oh my god, it explains so fucking much, dude. For some reason, <laughs> they're drinking Bud Light. Fuck you, bees. Fuck you, bees. Fuck you, bees. Fuck you, bees. You're fucking nervous, bitch. You're fucking nervous. Bees is absolute dog shit. Somebody tried to fight me for having a camera. I'm pretty confident 99% of the people here are all optic fans. <laughs> Let's get it, boys. Let's go Optic. Let's go. We ready. Green wall. This is your chance, Nick. This is your chance. This is Hey, my name's Pred. My name's also Merzel Berry. I'm from Seattle Search. So yesterday, you were killing it. Now he's got a plethora of information. Oh. Give him two. Oh. Give him three. Arsene drops it just like that. Uh, look, um, you know, when I'm on main stage, I Who's my favorite team? Um, well, I don't really watch Pro COD anymore, but back in the day, it was Optic. Because I used to watch um, Nade Shot back in the day when I was younger. I used to watch him, like, do fucking Gears shit. And then, um, when he made the switch to Call of Duty. So, I would say Optic, I guess. But I don't watch Pro COD anymore, bro. Like, after Advanced Warfare, dude, I'm telling you, like, I just kind of, like, hung up the hat. I was like, all right, I'm going to quit while I'm ahead. <laughs> like, dude, that shit was a lot of fucking work, man. Dude, like, honestly, you gotta dedicate a lot of fucking time to, like, do, like, pro gaming or some shit. Like, you have to fucking memorize those maps, like, the fucking top side of your dick, basically. It's pretty fucking bad. Like, it's a huge time commitment. So... I don't know, it's a different feeling, man. I'm very hyper energy. I gotta come with that energy and try to, you know, influence my team in a positive way. So for me, that's the number one uh, most important thing. How does having a crowd affect you? Uh, having a crowd honestly helps me a lot. <laughs>
I feel like without a crowd, it's not as fun. All right, I got you a little gift. I got you a custom-made Burger Town sign. Burger Town? <laughs> Secure the Burger Town. The Battle of Burger Town was a... Uh, no, driving. back in the day, you didn't just play three maps, bro. You had the full fucking rotation. Everybody. And it was completely fucking random. Involved. <laughs> That's why I, was... <laughs> I like this, man. In a previous video, I went to COD Champs and I ran into a fan of the Toronto Ultra. This is great. This is great. All the way from Toronto right now. Came all the way from Toronto? Yes, sir. Come to watch the team, you know what I'm saying? But he quickly switched up which team he was rooting for multiple times. <laughs> Outcomes of the games. I ran it to him again. Your girl couldn't cheer for you, you loser. That's my man. He's the fusing man. Bruh. Good. You see Toronto going to the finals. Dude, he's like a typical Patriots fan back in the day. Finals. I do see him going to finals. I was curious to see if he was going to stay true to the Toronto Ultra this time. In a big back alley. Someone's got to get in. Take no contested time. And no rotation. Got anything to say to face? Uh, get fucked. It's my day four and two of the <laughs> 12 fucked. teams remaining. The home team, Optic Texas. Hey, don't you mean... Get fucking wrecked. And a Toronto Ultra. We want Ultra. Good luck. May the best team win, buddy. This is it. Final moves from Hoop. No, it's done. Toronto. My pain is constant and sharp. And I do not hope for a better world for anyone. In fact... I want my pain to be inflicted on others. Do you think Optic is gonna come out victorious this time? I believe so. I know so. Home crowd, home field advantage. Whenever you walk out on stage and sit back out of your setup, you just feel like you wanna run through a brick wall. I mean, there's so many people just cheering for you. <laughs> We're trying to get for them. This is their major. So. <laughs> my mama showed you got three minutes water time on that first map, bro. Three minutes water time, bro. He's swimming. He's swimming, shark boy. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Among the hundreds of sad and disappointed Optic fans, there was one happy man. Toronto Ultra's one and only fan at this event. <laughs> Fucking pit viper. Uh, looking a little shaky there in the middle, but we did it. We're gonna say to the haters and all the other team, get fucked. This was the Call of Duty competitive experience. Like and subscribe for more. Bruh. Pro gaming. Yeah, I've never actually seen like a COD event in person, so that's interesting, bruh. I don't think people pay to watch it. I think it's free to go to and it's free to stream. It's more so the sponsors pay to like, you know, advertise during it. Oh my God, bro. Yeah. There's like a counter-strike team that plays in the, uh, capital one arena near me in DC. It's called, uh, I think team liquid or whatever the fuck, but yeah, they have their events in like the fucking arena in DC. <laughs> I've never actually been to one, but I'm kind of tempted, man. That shit would be interesting. The uh, owner of like all the fucking Washington DC teams, I'm pretty sure owns Team Liquid, but I'm not 100% on that. I just know like their fucking like logo is out on side of the fucking arena. Yeah, let me check. I'm actually curious. Monumental Sports. Let's see. Um, fuck off, dude. Brands. Yeah, I think they, uh, I think they own them. Who owns Team Liquid?
Yeah, I don't know. I'm looking this up, and it's like Aziomatic Gaming owns them. I don't fucking know. I just know that they fucking play in that like arena near me, which is kind of weird. I don't. I mean, part of me is kind of tempted, but I don't think I'd actually go. <laughs> like, what the fuck would you even do? I feel like that shit would be boring. Just sitting there watching. Like, fucking live gaming. Yeah, so they have viewing parties for their fucking esports events in the fucking arena. That's so fucking stupid. <laughs> like, why would you go watch a fucking live stream in a fucking uh, arena when you could just watch it at home? <laughs> so so stupid. Why would you pay to go watch it in an arena when you could just watch it at home? That's really fucking stupid, dude. I don't know. I'd only go to a major event once for the experience. Fair enough, man. Griffin got blacked. So what, dude? You saying that's an issue? Yeah, get into a fucking fight. I don't know, man. But I gotta hop off, guys. It's 3.15. I need to go to sleep. So, big ups to everybody in the chat. Appreciate y'all stopping by. And yeah, I'll talk to y'all, I guess, tomorrow. So see y'all then. Have a good one, everybody. You fucking cuck. I know that's one of your favorite words, you right wing asshole. Say, come on, cuck. Ask real fucking questions, cuck. And don't be a fucking pussy because you're a bigoted asshole, too. I Fuck you. Stop being gilded, domesticated garbage. Stop being weak. And when you see a threat come down on you, deal with it! Become a human again! Stop being weak!